Good morning, backgammon fans. Bill Riles and Tara Mendocino, Ace Point Backgammon, broadcasting from Rory Pascar's U.S. Open in Las Vegas, Nevada. This morning, the second round will begin of the championship and intermediate divisions. We've got, uh, you know, as luck has it, <laughs> first round match, it's two great pairings uh, to show you here this morning on stream one. John O'Hagan versus Dana Nazarian. It, it, it's hard to find a better pairing. This is going to be an entertaining match. Now, they are in the, uh, they're in the round of 32 over on, uh, and they'll be here on uh, Backgammon Galaxy's YouTube channel. On the uh, stream two, which is on the Ace Point Backgammon channel, YouTube channel. Uh, Frank Frigo, former world champion against Neil Kazaros, all-time ABT points leader. So, again, just a uh, superb pairing. So, uh, as you can see, uh, Tara has it up on a dual screen right now. Once uh, O'Hagan and Nazarian begin, that'll be the primary commentated match. Frank and Neil will be on stream two on the Ace Point Backgammon YouTube channel. i um, like to, to thank... Uh, Bag him and Galaxy using their uh, their channel and uh, helping us out here. We're using FM Gammon uh, boards, which they've donated a couple of boards that'll go to the championship and in, uh, intermediate winners. Uh, one of the on stream one, we're actually uh, streaming on a a Galaxy Earth board. You know, those boards are also made by FM Gammon. So uh, anyway. We're at the new venue for Rory's tournaments here in Las Vegas at the Westgate Hotel and Casino. As you can see over my uh, shoulders here, the main playing room. It's a large open room, well lit, high ceilings. Uh, so it's quite spacious and uh, you know plenty of room for everybody to play. You'll see when we switch to the actual uh, matches that we're going to be streaming, the streaming room, which is... Uh, adjacent to the main room and uh it's there's an air wall between us there's an opening on the far end down there so people can walk back and forth between the two rooms but there's an air wall up here separating uh where i'm speaking from from the um streaming tables on the other side of the wall so um it's worked out great now these uh there were 41 Winners advancing into the that's after the rebuy rounds and so forth. 41 winners in the undefeated bracket, so 18 people got antibuys, and the other 23 players uh, have buys. I'm sorry, yeah, Neil and uh, Dana are typically fashionably on time or a touch late, so we're waiting on them to show up. But anyway, uh, Neil and Frank got antibodies, so they're in the round of 64. John and Dana got uh, got the buys, so they're in the round of 32, so they have an advantage in that regard. Now, this is a double elimination tournament, so as you lose, you move into the second chance or fighter's bracket, and... Uh, you know, you're not, uh, you can still win the tournament with a single loss. The winner of the undefeated bracket will win a 5% of the prize pool bonus for winning that undefeated bracket. The winner of the second chance bracket will then meet the winner of the undefeated bracket in a one match championship match, 15 pointer. That'll be on Sunday. Candace Maron. Morning. You, uh, Oh, good morning. Good morning, Candice. So you're uh, waiting for a match here. I'm waiting for a match, but I have a big also. announcement. Okay. Candice has an announcement. I do have a take, big announcement. Take it over. So what? in June for the Los Angeles Open, we're going to have a BMAB. It'll be the first one on the West. Oh, well, that's great. We give the players on the West Coast a... It'll and be everyone else attending, yeah. uh, an opportunity to to play in a BMAB. So that'll add a day to your tournament. That'll It'll be on, add a day. We'll Wednesday. do the B Wednesday. That will be June seven. Will be the BMAB. So okay, everybody's great. invited. Come on. Now up. they uh, 
I'm sure you've been some fashion added to, or will add the BMAB registration to your registration page and so forth. It'll be added onto the website. Yeah. yeah and thanks. that'll be perhaps capped in some fashion as to the number of players. We have be... a limited number of players. So the first to sign up will be the ones who get in to play the BMAB. Right, because the, the equipment required. The, the equipment, and what have the you. space, the whole thing. And for uh, Benjamin Friesen will run it. And he has okay. To... Yeah. So if you're going to L.A., or if you now want to go up to L.A. because of the BMAB, be sure and uh, if you want to play BMAB, get your registrations and uh, all in early because that is a capped event. Do you know what the cap is? Uh, I don't know if it's going to be 16 or 24. Okay. It's sort of so, up to Benjamin. as the, Yeah, as they so either in. 16 or 24. So if you want to play BMAB, uh, be sure and register as early as you can to yep. ensure yourself a spot. Please. Now, none of your other events are capped, really, in any regard. No, they're not capped. So, we so can it's, take just, as many as it's just out. that one. So the, the urgency is to get your registration in to ensure that you're in the BMAB. So, uh, well, that's exciting. All uh, right. Well, they're calling the matches, and I know you're getting ready to come. And oh, we've got a couple of great ones here this thank morning. Thank you. So, See you later. Uh, good luck to you. Bye, everybody. Okay, thank you. Okay, Candace Mayer on the um, organizer supervisor director or whatever of the uh los angeles open which uh occurs the first week in june or so okay so people are starting to line up here getting in the chat henry Zikars. Sorry if I butchered how bad I butchered that. Nita from Michigan. Hello to y'all. Now, as as everyone generally knows, I love to do the commentary on something of a interactive fashion. I uh Eric Peterson's in the room. Uh so I monitor the chat as I'm doing the commentary. So if uh people have comments suggestions critiques suggestions uh whatever questions uh feel free to put them into the chat and i'll try to address them as appropriate and as time allows now also we typically have a really uh you know esteemed audience of viewers with some key uh players i think victor's watching this morning matt kungar's typically watching dimitri justin noel and others and uh, so if you follow the chat line along with watching the matches, you can, uh, you know, you can, you, the opportunity there is to learn a lot. You're going to, you know, you'll hear my less than expert, perhaps, uh, perspective on what's going on. But, uh, you know, you'll have the input of uh, some really top-notch players here viewing as well. And, um Great way to learn. Great way to learn. And this first match this morning on stream one here, John O'Hagan and Dana Nazarian, two of the absolute best players, not only in the States, but in the world. And uh, so this should be really exciting. You can see now they are taking their uh, positions. Dana is on the right bottom of the screen it's going to be playing the dark checkers john on the left of the player cam top of the screen playing the white checkers now you can see the playing uh, the streaming room there there's some additional overflow tables in the back uh so it's a pretty good room itself some people like to play over here because of the uh it's a little quieter than the main room you can see just over john o'hagan's shoulder there's a uh an opening, a pass through, it's a walk through between the uh, streaming room and the main playing room. So here we go. Miroslav Kowalski from Poland joins us. Welcome, Miroslav. So two of the best players in the world. Uh, this should be fun. Okay, double fives. So uh, typically. It takes, as we all know, three or four or five rolls for a, a given game to kind of assume its uh, its flavor and its texture, its structure. And uh, so they're both off. Uh, now Dana has the opportunity to make the five point or to hit the, the checker on the bar. Advantages to both. 
by making the five. It's a point he wants, and he unstacks the six a little bit. Uh, he doesn't want O'Hagan to make the bar up there, so he uh, could send a third checker back and and preclude for the short term uh, O'Hagan making making his bar point. So uh, this is kind of a you know a decision between two uh, great options. Dana decides to make the five, which is a continuing asset. So uh, I think that's probably a wise move. Now here O'Hagan faced similarly with the. Uh, a difficult decision perhaps he can make the bar which is what he wanted he wants that's why he slotted it but he also has the opportunity to to uh, escape with one of those back checkers uh we'll see what he does i i kind of uh, think he may he may uh, make the bar again that was his original intent anyway but uh okay he i didn't even look at that he, he can make the ace so he puts dana into the air Dana rolls three. Now he's going to unstack the six again. So it gives him three builders working on that three point or four point, three point and four point. Five one. John's going to uh, try to, he's got a board advantage. See if he can, and Dana obliges him by dancing. Okay, John can't cover that point, so he's going to step up and come down, I imagine. Now, again, as, as people join us here, be sure and hit that like button. Smash that like button, as Mark uh, Olson likes to say on his uh, Back Heaven Galaxy YouTube channel. Okay, so Dana gets another opportunity to not dance and uh, preclude uh, John from making more progress. Well, he enters, but he, he doesn't hit the blot. He enters uh, exposing himself to that additional builder on the 11. And he's got he's to find a four to play as well. Now he could play five, four. So if he comes out, he's exposed to two and fours and ones and threes cover plus a, potentially the two six. Uh, if he plays down, he's got two blots in the outfield. So he's got three blots in play. Hetero sapiens. Thank you. You top Gary Olson. Gary's promoting the hit. There's the hit. Now that takes uh, a half a roll out of John's hands, which is probably important in this structure position. Two five works out like a charm. John can make the anchor up on the two, but can't do anything particularly constructive with the five. He's probably going to have to play to the six. Doesn't want to leave the two blots out there uh, in his outfield. In uh, yeah, in his outfield for uh, for Dana to shoot at. Pretty much a forced play. So, okay. Now Dana is going to see what he can do. Three one. He can he can make the ten, which is probably preferred. He can't can't really run with it and take the guy out of danger. So Nichols, that'll work. So John, uh, well ahead in the race, particularly after that, he'll take a quick count and glance at it, but uh, it's relatively obvious that he's uh, way ahead in the race. But both of these guys are great players, great tacticians, theoreticians. Neither are going to get rattled or emotional. They're neither are going to get hurried. They'll play at a measured, comfortable pace. They'll take their time when necessary, when the circumstances dictate it. And uh, nice ace deuce by John. Four three. Now here we go. John very likely will will double this and cash it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Does it sound as though it's not my native language, uh, Victor? <laughs> okay, over on stream two, uh, which is on the Ace Point YouTube channel, uh, Neil Kazros and Frank Frigo are just getting started. They're in the round of 64. They got antibodies. Dana and uh, O'Hagan got buys, so they're in the round of 32. Okay, so Dana rolled with a uh, unfortunate double six to dance, but he comes back with a hitting two five, so it uh, maybe balances out in the long run, a four six, so he's going to get a hit again. John's going to continue pressure. It's three, four builders uh, to work with. So Dana's going to probably come in on the 21 and hit on the four, which will take, uh, you know, a little bit of the flexibility out of John's hands. Now he's going to go it the other way. Fair enough. And I'll defer to the uh, much better judgment and experience and skill level of either of these guys over myself. So uh, that's why they're they're playing on the stream and Bill is doing uh, doing commentary. So a six four allows him to make the two point. It's an anchor. Next year. Okay. Okay, so kind of a hitting exchange program going on here, which is often the uh, the case in the early stages of a game. It's, John plays the one at 6-5 rather than stepping up uh, from the, the ace and uh, providing more exposure. Dana makes a nice 6-2 to make the bar. 6-2 by John. He has to... He'd like flexibility by having those two guys separate, but it would have cost him a lot to do so. Dana, 4-2. Now, he's, he's leaving... He's leaving something somewhere. Eight to the nine, and it's does he play the deuce down or does he go nine seven? Nine seven, which would force John to break the mid to hit him. Okay, nice five one. Now. Does he, he probably slots? I mean, he, he, well, he goes ahead and stacks it, but uh, doesn't have a lot of flexibility beyond this. Five three, so John uh, isn't having much better luck. This guy leaving a lot of indirects here, but. Uh, now there, uh, Dana would have liked to have been able to make the five point, but he had uh, limited flexibility in doing so with those stacks on the six and seven. So I guess, uh, I don't know, were it me, I'd play to the ace and keep the two spares on both rather than playing to the deuce and uh, having only one spare on the seven. But let's see what uh, what Dana thinks. Yeah, it keeps himself a little bit more flexibility, but keeping two spares on both the six and the seven. Three twos, a nice pointing number. Six five from Dana. He can run all the way around the corner, but uh, just opens himself up to uh, attack from John. Alternatively, I mean, he plays uh, 
makes the ace point and slots the deuce or stacks them on the ace, which he certainly doesn't find particularly attractive. Now this is the the first matches of many today. We'll play continuously through to the dinner break at 5:30, so it's 10 now. So we've got mm, what's that? 7 hours and 15 minutes before the dinner break. And then after the dinner break, uh, which is 5:30, we begin play again at 8 p.m., which will be uh the rounds of semifinal rounds, I guess, of the uh, various jackpots. Well, certainly the master jackpot down to four players. And I'll have to test myself to see if I can remember who's playing who. Uh, John O'Hagan is playing. Well, I'm going to lie. I, I don't know. I'll have to look. Now, you can follow the brackets, and we'll be putting them up here occasionally when we have a break. But you can also go to usbgf.org and look at the, you know, live brackets of um, all of the events, the masters, the intermediate, the doubles, the various jackpots, um, all, all there for you to look at. Oh, the, the links are uh, to that are on the... Uh, Link to the brackets under the description here, uh, under the heading on YouTube. Okay. So John, uh, Dana got the five-two to play. Doesn't have much choice. John hoping for an ace. That's a little overkill. Now he has the option of. Uh, making the four point and establishing a five prime in front of those two back checkers, or you can send a third checker back, but, uh, you know, would be leaving a blot in doing so and leaving, leaving, um, depending on exactly how he played them, uh, leaving as many as, uh, what three blots probably would choose not to do so, but, uh, he'd be leaving at least one blot. I mean, if he hits it, he'll probably sw move them both up to the five, perhaps play seven, six, and play two, one. Leave the blot on the two rather than the ace. Oh, he decided to go to the to the four with the five prime, which is uh, certainly uh, a very reasonable play. Larry Stevenson's watching. Thank you, Larry, for the compliments. Rarity. Uh, yeah, Gary Olson's in the house. And we're already uh, up early to uh, 70 viewers. Yesterday afternoon with that uh, was uh, 175, I think, with the Jonah and whomever he was playing early on. Jonah and Linda, I guess it was. So this is the other option that I mentioned, uh, playing 7-6 two up to the 20 point and switching from two to one, leaving the blot on the two rather than the ace. And that way all four points bear on the deuce rather than just three on the ace. And he keeps those, uh, keeps from stacking those spares there. Well, the good news is you can't go wrong no matter what you do. <laughs> this is a, an interesting early decision. You can see Dana and John, uh, Chuckling a bit between themselves over this is to. Well, let's see. And there is no better, probably, theoretician than, uh, than John O'Hagan. Uh, I mean, he can look at positions such as this and, uh, you know, Estimate his winning chances to a tenth of a percent almost. Uh, it's uh, uncanny how how good he is at this. But he's going to go with this play, which I kind of like because it gives him so much more flexibility. Yeah, and I, uh, Gary Olson makes the point that uh, it, it's harder to make the four point than it is to escape. So that may lend some credence to making the four point while you have the opportunity. Um, I don't know. 
do the positional play. We'll see. Okay, so he goes with the four point. Now Dana, now he can safety the clean it up, but he's got to play next roll. Now John, of course, has to play as well. And does he make Dana pay to see this next roll, or uh, I think uh, I think you might. Okay, I've got some I've got some uh, problem rolls in the cup. Do you want to see it? You're going to have to take a cube to do it. But John decides to play on, apparently. 3-2, so he'll run. And nobody, to my knowledge, uh, is transcribing this, Amir, so we don't have the running PR. That's a labor-intensive exercise to, uh, to try to do that. But uh, these guys certainly will probably play in the threes, could play in the twos. They're of that caliber. Yeah, they posted uh, yesterday for the first time the BMAB, or not the BMAB, the UBC rankings uh, from the various UBC contender tournaments and UBC final tournaments and so forth. And Dana, and there hasn't been that many Americans playing any UBC events other than the UBC event in Texas, which we have each year. And Dana was a finalist in that this year. Ryan Ravello won it, but Dana uh, was the finalist. And Dana played 3.57 over 13 matches. And no, 3.65. Ryan played 3.57. So on the uh, UBC rankings tables, uh, Ryan is in the 20th position with that performance, and Dana's in 21st position. Okay, Dana had played the 6-1, and he had to take the opportunity to go out. Now John is uh, contemplating, and I think his decision is, um, you know, it's certainly a pass. It's, it's, is it too good or not? So he sends it. Uh, can't imagine that Dana doesn't pass this. You know, and it's interesting if y'all watched, and if you didn't, you can go watch it at your leisure. It's, it's in the archives here. Ray Fogerlin uh, gave a lecture last night getting in the zone, and part of, uh, you know, his uh, subject matter there was, you know, somewhat weaker players playing elite players and uh, making adjustments accordingly. Now, Dana takes that, which is kind of surprising to me. Uh, but... There again, Dana is Dana, and Bill is Bill. But uh, certainly that the point Ray was making about, you know, somewhat weaker players playing, playing elite players and having to seize your opportunities when you have them, that kind of uh, thinking does not necessarily enter into this equation because these guys are both uh, elite players of probably uh, comparable skill levels and PRs and so forth. So no adjustments to be made in that regard. Okay. Ian has joined the group. Hello, Ian. Great, great first pairing here. I think you would agree. I don't know what, uh, Olsen's thinking 16 and one, which is what, uh, John is uh, looking at at the moment. Alternatively, I mean, you could pick and pass, but you've got uh, a blot on the ace and a blot on the eight if you do so. So it's got uh, got some um, some rough edges, and the cube's in play. So it's uh, you know, does does John? Uh, Make the aggressive play and try to get uh, try to get the gammon, and that's what he does. So Dana 
Boom. Gets the ace. Comes around with the five. Now John's got to perform. Does not. So now shoes starting to move to the other foot. Dana's still got to extricate little Wilbur in the back there, so he probably can't uh, can't send anything. Okay, six three makes the point. So he still he's only got about one more roll that he can. Uh, there's a four to anchor. And he's only got probably this one roll to to uh, to get the trailer out. Yeah, Ian, uh, Rory, and Jeb, and I, uh, and Tara debated long and hard over which of those two matches uh, should be on stream one and which were on stream two um rightfully or wrongfully we decided this distribution okay so now okay that's gonna uh guess he just spreads them out here one, two. Now, does he want to? He may be hesitant to play uh, with four blots because, you know, there are some two fives in the cup and uh, he may end up with four on the bar. But, uh, Maybe you just go on to the 12 and make that point, and that way you're only playing with two blots rather than three or four. Yeah. Okay, so Dana is fortunate enough to not have to crack yet with with the board that he has. John makes that. Dana needs a 2-6 in the worst way. Where where's Maybe Ray could roll for him. No, it's 5 3. My race is better now than it was before. John's completely stripped, though, but uh, that solves all problems right there. And Dana could roll a 3 6 and uh, grab a little bit of racing equity here. 3 5 doesn't do it, but beats dancing. 6 4, so. Uh, okay, so here's a. Uh, Here's a learning moment for all of us is Mrs. Bubbles. I haven't seen you lately. Welcome back. Um, now, here's a, a teaching moment for John. Does he, uh, and what's the count here? We've got 24, 34, 56 for green, 66, 68. So he's which is 58 and what I say with the green 58 24 34 54 so it's almost dead even if he plays this way so you know if um, he plays this way and and Dana escapes which of course would require one large number it could be a, a six five or double five double six and then uh, he's got a he's right back in the race Alternatively, John can um, can hit him. So this is uh, this is interesting. Again, it's almost uh, after the roll a dead even race. He puts him up, recognizing that that uh, so he's going to take his chances with uh, Dana rolling a three. Dana does not. set of threes and it's you know he's had to clear the six without taking anything off anyway so John rolls a six four so he should be able to bring this home barring a set of boxes or six five is a good start so uh, Dana still got some uh, potential sets that could get him back into this race 
five one. That's not one. Now he may go five four here to yeah. Clear that void on the take care of that void on the four point set of threes, so he's making some progress here. Another uh well, there's a workable set for John. I was going to say another workable set for Dana, and he'd be back into it. But now he's uh, two two sets behind, so he's probably not going to be able to uh, to do anything with this game, and uh, will fall behind uh, three zero. But long fifteen point match, so uh, you know a lot of backgammon to be played. Good roll, two sets. Surprise us all. Make Bill take out his eraser and uh, <coughs> fix his scorecard. Boom, he didn't get it. So, uh, two sets of two ones. Nope. Okay. So, 3-0, uh, Mr. O'Hagan. Yes, you did. Already up to 94 viewers. That's great. Y'all uh, make sure everybody's aware of your friends and neighbors and associates and family and so forth of this uh, great match going on here. Uh, yeah. And be sure and hit that like button. Maybe even uh, if you have the opportunity, a subscribe button. And um, always helps the uh, status of the various providers in the backgammon community. Four three Dana. Now John's got several options here with his three ace. Gonna make the five, which is the pure play. Dana can hit two with the double threes. It'd be my play immediately. Yep. So now uh, John needs to to not dance. He gets one in now. Dana, he's going to take a. Quick perusal and picks up the cube. It's early enough, I think. John correctly takes it, but uh, Dana will be uh, in full attack and blitz mode here. Okay. 6-4. We can make, make the 9 and... Uh, Play two to the nine, I guess. Make the nine and put a spare on the nine to work on the bar and the four. Um, it's pretty expensive to, to hit. Then you'd be playing with a lot of blots. Yeah, so he goes to that route, which is uh, probably what we all anticipated. Ace, deuce for John. He can make that anchor. Four five for Dana. So again, uh, not what he wanted, but I guess uh, I guess two down. I don't really think he wants to go to the. He could hit on the ace and bring the spare from the nine to the five, but makes for a pretty uh, inflexible position. Maybe I take two down, and you just have a lot of builders working on the. Uh, the uh, the bar in the four, but he goes ahead and takes the four, the four point. Now if John wants to hit it, which he does. He has to give up the anchor to do so, and uh, Dana will go for it. Okay, Victor was having some problem with the sound apparently, but he's got. Uh, He's hearing that now. There were, um, to answer uh, an, a text question from Victor, there were 55 in the main 
uh, there was rebuy around, so we ended up with 41 winners advancing to the undefeated bracket today. So then you had 18 people with antibodies, 23 people playing in the round of 32. And Jonah, or uh, Jonah, John and uh, Dana got the buys and are playing around the 32. Frank Frigo and Neil, who are playing on the stream too, uh, were unfortunate enough to get the anti buys, so they're playing in the round of 64. Yeah, we're up there fairly big early on. Okay, Dan, so now this is open season for for Dana here. He has the cube in play, five ace hits, and so we've got uh, distinct gammon possibilities here. John uh, forestalls a bit of it by making that anchor, but... Uh, Dana's still in command here. He can make the two-point or he can make the bar. Okay. Okay, John gets them both in, so that's good. He can work on uh, perhaps trying to contain... Uh, Contain Dana, but it's kind of hard to contain Dana when he rolls six fives. Okay, John comes to the to the eight. Ryan Rebello, the rebel, is in the house. Hey, Ryan, what's up? It's the bar. So now um, we're just gonna sit here and watch uh, watch Dana play for a few rolls here. He hopes. Wants to get that checker out, gets that checker out. So um, now John hopes to, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, hopes to roll small and maintain some sort of a board, but he, uh, he rolls boxes on the first roll. Dana, 6-3. Now, again, as you'll notice, we're playing uh, down the checkers legal, playing legal moves. So... Uh, Okay, Ryan says he hasn't played since Texas. Well, you played well in Texas, so uh, I suspect there's not too much rust accumulated on you. Maybe take them both in and kill the sixes, John. Um, certainly, yeah. Six fives, Dana can take two in. Uh, John hopes to uh, and likely will avoid cracking here. I don't know if there's a cracking number. Okay, so John's hoping Dana has to clear the bar, which he does not. So uh, John likely, very possibly, will crack here. Permanently crack, and he does. Okay. Six three. So um, unlikely gammon, but uh, gammons are they're they're in there. And there's always the possibility that were Dana to uh, unfortunately leave a uh, a blot and get hit, there's chance of picking up extra checkers over there too. <laughs> Ryan says he's got classes and Tim asked him how long does high school last this summer <laughs> not quite that young Tim <laughs> okay so John's just made the determination just uh, since his board breaking down as it is just to uh, go ahead and play this to, to beat the G and only give up uh, give up the two points Mm -hmm. 
go to the six. Try to most efficiently uh, use the rolls that he gets to save the uh, save the gammon here. No Monaco either this year, Ryan says. Now, did you see, Ryan, they uh, posted the UBC I don't know, rankings yesterday and uh, your performance in Texas puts you in number 20 position. On the against all others who have uh, participated in uh, UBC events and have played at least thirteen matches within one uh, one event, so you and Dana both played uh, exactly thirteen uh, matches in San Antonio, and uh, perhaps that had uh, some influence on the decision of uh, how many matches one had to play in a single event to uh, to get a ranking. Okay, so John's most likely going to beat this. He's got to avoid the 2 1 fours or better parlay and does. So, 3 2 O'Hagan. Up to 108, steadily increasing uh, audience. We pre appreciate all of y'all's. Uh, participation and again as you know i follow the chat line here if you've got uh, questions comments suggestions critiques or uh, just want to hear your name mentioned uh let me know and i'll try to respond as appropriate like to make it kind of an interactive uh event here i think the viewers like that and i try to make the commentary give a little bit of uh technical perspective but uh keep it entertaining with various uh you know human interest uh facts and figures and what have you okay four two john's gonna make the four point issuing the hit on the bar Okay, Dana's escaped with one, so John's going to flat the five to try to develop uh, a restraining defense over there. He has the forward anchor in uh, Dana's home board. Again, we'll have uh, pretty much continuous matches today through the... Uh, Beginning of the dinner break at 5.30 Pacific, and then uh, at 8 p.m. we resume with uh, jackpot matches. I was going to pull up my trusty uh, brackets here. As y'all may know, all of the brackets are on the uh, USBGF website. We'll also be putting them up occasionally on breaks and between games, perhaps here. Okay, at uh, 8 p.m. tonight, we'll have two Masters semifinal matches. And those will be, uh, oh, they didn't update this. Who's that? Dana and uh, Jeff Hall and uh, Stuart Hosen and John O'Hagan. So that'll be, uh, that'll be fun. 
that's I forget her name, but that's Julius's friend or cousin or something. Linda. Okay. How are you, ma'am? Okay. Okay. Now John has a a very good board over there, but neither has much uh, make that. He's got the great board, but not he's stripped otherwise. Dana's got uh, not much flexibility in his structure. So let's let's see who who blinks here. Who is Bob Odenkirk, Ryan? Okay. Five three for Dana. He, he still can't do much, and it's getting worse. Back city here. Okay, John, counting this monstrosity. So what do we got? Thirty eight, forty five, fifty five, eighty one, twenty one. That's one o two for White. 98 after that, 18, 20, 32, 56, 95. So it's almost dead even. Uh, Dana's got some real, uh, okay, here we go. I was going to say Dana's got a lot of problems clearing, but now John gets to the 6-5. Okay, so again, let's see. John's got uh, 38, 44, 51, 77, 99 before the roll. Huh? Don't hurt me. Okay, 9884, according to Tara. That's before the roll. So 8784 after. Okay, so John would still be, yeah, so John would still be behind three. Okay, so now Dana's try to, uh, and as he leaves the nine shot, has to play eight, five. He has to give him all nines, which is four, five, six, three, and double three. So that's five shots. I'm sorry. 13, eight. Yeah, he's, that's only five shots. Um, and you may have to leave that many or more next roll. So I, I think you just uh, pay now and give him, play 13, eight. Give him the five shots to roll a nine. I don't like this. Zero six two blunder, according to my transcriber over here, Miss Mendocino. She's working on our transcription skills among her various production skills. Okay, so John would like to wait one more roll here and see if Dana won't play play into his favor boom here it is and in two blots not only is the direct but uh, a second one out there to perhaps capture as well john can't uh, can't perform now this dana's trailing dana's well up in the race now, Miss Tara. Uh, does he send this? Covers with twos and nines. He can pick it up with an ace or a deuce. Well, he could cover it with a deuce. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, fraught with peril, but uh, 
some good upside too. Does I got to think? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll defer. What uh, What's Ryan and some of you other experts think here? Ian, I'm thinking uh, no double take. Okay, so it's a double, you're saying? No double take, okay. Okay. Yeah, Dana's up by 10. I'm being told it's a no double. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, what's he going to do? Hit on, the, hit on the ace and take a checker off. That isn't much else to do. Okay, so now Dana's glad that he didn't double, although he potentially could have gotten a pass out of that. Yeah, let's see. We'll see this kind of bear off every day. What do we got? We got one man on. <laughs> Don't confuse yourself, Missy Pooh. And uh, welcome to today's stream, Michelle. Pass. I'm hit the rust room real fast. Okay, three, three. Too much water today. Okay, John's going to let that go. Like, uh, Dana might be taking his uh, to the water station or down the hall. Got a little break. You want to let us check in on the other match, maybe? Dana's stepping out for us. Huh? He's actually going out here. Okay, so uh, she'll switch us to two streams uh, real quickly. We'll see what's going on uh, on the other match while well, Dana and John... Uh, Adjourn a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're waiting, and Tara's fixed to put up both streams side by side here briefly, and we can check in on Frigo and uh, Kazaros. There it comes. Oh, well, that's the bracket. Here we go. You can uh, see over here on the right is O'Hagan. Darian in the body section. They're playing the round of 32. Frigo and Kazarov's top left. They're in the round of 64. So, uh, what other names jump out at me? Ron Wertheim and Ari Navera. It's a good match. Alfredo Unis and Tom Wheeler. Uh, Jonah's playing Aaron Faust. That'll be a, a lot of fun. O'Neill and... Uh, I see them in behind me now. They were on break as well. So that's why we didn't really uh, switch over to see what was happening. Sam Ahmed and Kit Woolsey, Stuby and Minardi, Linda Clay and Ray Fogerlund. That'll be an entertaining match. So, uh, okay. So here we are. Where are we? Eight, seven already in the uh, Kazaros Frigo match. So they must have had a decent cube or two in play early on here because they started at the same time and, in fact, started a minute or two later than O'Hagan and Nazarian. I'll have to talk to my production manager about the, the music, me talking over music. Tim, thanks for the heads up. Okay, so... Uh, 
Okay. After um, last night and this morning, commenting on matches playing on the earth board, it's kind of, I got to get used to these colors on this U.S. Open board. Uh, again, it, the blues kind of overwhelmed me a little bit between the blue playing field and the blue checkers. But um, I found yesterday after um, after looking at it for a bit, uh, you know, I kind of got used to it, but you know, when the first first glance at it uh, doesn't suit my eye. Well, it's a beautiful board, but uh, you know, we all have our preferences. Okay, so we're back. John O'Hagan, Dana Nazarian, three all, twelve point match. Here we go. Three one. Five, two, both uh, making some points. Yeah, no, no sweat. We're aware of it now. Yeah, I, we didn't realize that. No. Okay, so... Yeah, to me, this uh, earthboard with the green is just a nice, soft, relaxing colors and texture to my to my view. So, uh, it's kind of a pleasant board to play on. Okay, so John has escaped while Dana's been developing a nice structure here. So we'll. Uh, Okay, so Dana's going to try to step up into it and stop this uh, stop this advance of John. He's not letting him play too freely. 6-2. What can he do but hit, probably? Well, one few shots. No, I might argue... Michelle, we, we, we're kind of biasedly partial to the Texas board, but um, anyway. Okay, so Dana has managed to send one of those uh, parole breakers back to prison here and uh, hopes to keep him there for life. Okay, so Dana's got this. Got his clock running. Dana's got a 5 3. Huh? <clears throat> Double take, Tara tells me. You know that yeah the texas board we're proud of that and they, they sell a lot of that board uh color combinations and we won't allow them to put the logos on it except for winners of the texas tournament so uh you see somebody with the texas board with the logos on it uh, they're a winner Okay, so Dana's going to make the anchor. Now, John needs a four. Four it is, just like dial-a-roll here. 
So he's back to the... Uh, and Dana's going to make the three-point... Pardon me. Okay. Interesting. Seventy two thirty nine one twenty no one uh, eleven. Sixty four. John's definitely way up now. And as uh, we're going to have to count this, Dana may well run. What do we got? We got 46, 18, 64, 40, 104 for black. And we got 72, 80, 88, 91 for, uh, for white. So can't run. He, he's too far behind. Now he's vulnerable to to having to leave with a six. He's going to run both. So what do we got? We got 13 times six is 78, 84. And we have 45, 55. At 82, very, very close. Two one, not exactly what Dana was hoping for. Another set of fives. That's two of them in the last three rolls for John. So uh, it's kind of hard to stem that tide. And Dana is uh, seeing nothing but small numbers. Okay, so John's got. Three more seven thirty five thirty nine forty one fifty nine forty five fifty one sixty one seventy yeah so he's fifteen or so back there it is that's a drop and it's four three O'Hagan okay that number of viewers keeps climbing up there a little bit one hundred twenty two watching this great match. Be sure and hit that like button and subscribe button and uh, let others that may be interested know of uh, the matches and the links and what have you. And uh, hope y'all are all enjoying this. 5-3 by Dana gets the, the four, three point. 4-5 four, by John. He, Six five runner. Okay. I'm gonna bring the builder down rather than run all the way. Three one. Uh, John's got options galore. He chooses the uh, the anchor under. Dana had several checkers uh, bearing on that and nine in the zone, so. Ah. Yeah, he had several good options, Ryan. Uh, I think I might have made the five as well because he unstacks those uh, six and eight somewhat. John has to hit. A lot of a lot of hitting returns here. And that's one of them. Six 
Okay, now John's gonna hit again. Wants to make a point, wants to take half a roll out of Dana's hand. But now. Okay, Dana hits on the deuce. John enters and has to run. See Jeff Hall in the background there. He does have on one of his loud pink shirts today. So he'll be on the stream uh, on the Masters tonight. So be sure and bring wear your shades for watching that one. Jeff Hall really likes those loud shirts. Okay, 4 2. Now you can hit. Had choices, but that was the best. 3 1. So that uh, starts the 5. Set of fives. Boom. That's all. Then we come to the 6. Yes. John does not need to dance. Five one. So what's Dana got here? Six and eight, fourteen, number three, forty-two, fifty-two, ninety-four, one oh nine. Okay, I I didn't get to count, but it was some snap take by uh, O'Hagan. dueling sets of aces here. John's got plenty of timing to uh, hope that uh, Dana gets in trouble clearing that midpoint. Okay. He's down to pretty funny. They've rolled ace-ace. And Dana replied with ace ace. John rolled six five. Dana rolled six five. Okay, Dana saves a five, but uh, John's got the got the good timing here to uh, let's see if Dana blinks. Goes to the ace. Ooh, pardon me. Gonna make the bar and go to the four, perhaps. Could go to the deuce, but uh, I think I'd make the five frame. There you go. I like to see when, uh, um, whoa, uh -oh. so much for uh, blinking. Dana probably thinks that's only fair since John had rolled a couple of nickels on the prior game. I think too small. Uh oh. The best laid plans. But John can't hit.
Okay, so John uh, should beat the gammon. Got to race it off here. Okay. Dana, have you got any stacked over there? I can't tell. Yes. So he's got at least seven. Maybe more. Okay, so that's that. Okay, 5-4, Dana. For a quick update on stream two, uh, Frank Frigo leads Neil Kazaros 10-8. So, uh, another yeah, great pairing over there. Again, nobody likes to lose in the first round, but this is a double elimination tournament this year. So, um, until you have two losses, you uh, retain an opportunity to win the tournament. Make the four, bring one down. Three twos, the second anchor. Uh, discourages any uh, delusions of grandeur that uh, Dana might have entertained. Already made the four point, so uh, probably doesn't want to do it again. Again, this is kind of a Interesting, uh, interesting shake. Nothing much constructive to do anywhere around the board. Can't clean anything up. Can't build anything. Hmm. Can't really dupe anything either. He couldn't move the bar, but then he exposes himself to a double shot. Five three, the back ones can't move, so he'll make the three point. Two six is a hitter. Set of fives. And guess let's bring that one out. John does not want to dance here. But dance he does, so here it comes, I think. Twos and fours, put a second checker back. Four one, double one, double four. Make the five point. I'm sending this personally, but Dana's going to, uh, looks as though he's resigned himself to, uh, He's going to roll on. I, I would have been tempted. 6-4. Now go to the bar. Full speed ahead. Urso is in the house. I 
guess he could have thought too good. I, I was definitely sending that myself. There you go. You go to the five and a seven. Okay, so now he'd rather have the two. He'll take the seven. Okay, got four builders on the deuce. Take the take the prime and slot on the front. You look big. Okay, John needs to uh, forestall what's the apparent inevitable here, and he doesn't. Now, at best, he's going to have an eight point, ace point game. Just a matter of how how long it takes him to to develop it, and uh, you know, he'd like to go ahead and get him in and and start moving checkers, uh, you know, around the board to try to. Save the game and eventually, but uh, right now, nothing working for him. Yeah, this is a Galaxy Earth board. It's just a cool little board. These uh, the checker trays, one of which is turned upside down right now to support the clock. Those are independent units, which. Uh, you know, fit into the board before you close it up. So it makes for a very compact uh, closed board. Nice for uh, for traveling and so forth. Now they, they are su surprisingly heavy, but uh, very, very nice board. Yeah, Dana contemplating that you cash that at this point or Okay, John Deuces uh didn't do much for him. He would uh MCG has joined us once again. Hello, Matt. Great first round match here. Two great first round matches, although O'Hagan and Dana got buys, so they're in the round of th 32. Kazaros and Frigo did not. They're in the round of 64. So Dana's sitting here uh, contemplating what do you. Dana has 10, 11, 4 off. Yeah. 
So you're going to roll on. That was a double take before that roll. Christopher Chavez, hello to you as well. Okay. Dana still got this idea that he ought to be cubing this at some point, and uh, he's decided the point is now. Now I got to think. Uh, let's see. He's only got four off. Has to be a take. John needs a. What is that? A five or a nine? That uh, doesn't work. MCG said he wasn't sure about the take. Did you have that in there? But yeah. Okay. So let's. Uh, okay. So now John's got to. Uh, He's not going to save a G unless he hits something, so he's got to just be concerned about the uh, the BG here. They're rare, but they happen, oftentimes unexpectedly so. Uh-oh, there's that shot. John looking for the deuce. No deuce, so now he's got to run, probably. Well, not. he decides he can wait one more roll. This could get expensive, though. Well, it's even worse. There was a stack checker. I thought it... Three two, the Ku Classic. Can't doesn't have to make a decision. He can't get out anyway. We may as well stay. Boom. Okay. Now anything anything but a two three. Boom, he's out. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Now we have seen the rare game. With the 15th checker, I think in my career of playing, I've won two and lost two. One two uh, hitting the 15th checker, lost two having my 15th checker hit. So now John needs to get over there and make his prime. Close, walk at home. Bear off aggressively. Let's see if he gets lucky. <laughs> but if nothing else, he saved uh, he saved the BG and the G. So uh, something to be said for that. There's a head just uh, delaying the inevitable here. Ultimately, we're going to get, well, the, the inevitable is, we don't know how it will end, but we, we know the, uh, the denouement here. <laughs> just kind of. Mm -hmm. Tara speaks French fluently. She's always correcting my uh, mispronunciation of French terms. Okay. Matt says uh, that was a rollout. Shows it a 109 take. I'm saying it, and it's... Worked out reasonably well. It's only, I mean, it, the take will have only cost a John a single point max. And it could have been, 
three or five. Okay, now he's going to try to keep the spares as high as possible, get off as many checkers as he can before he cracks. That's fairly good. Okay. Probably go to the three. Now you want to be very aggressive. If you go off the six, you may have to crack the six on the next roll. Okay, there's a... So maybe he's, uh, he's going to have three or four checkers off before he breaks. About all you can do, I guess. Okay. John needs to needs take a couple of checkers off and can't. Could, but he won't. And correctly so. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And John's only taking off one at a time, though. It was the denouement that uh, she got me on, Tim, not the uh, two class seat. Oh! Five, three. Six, five, so he's shooting. What's he need? Needs a three. Does not get the three, so loses two points. Dana's going to be up seven, four. All right, four, seven. What's the score now? Okay, Kazaros says, uh, Regain the lead, he leading Frigo 11-10 on stream two. So a great match over there. And these guys, what, it's 11-28. We started at 10. They're well over about an hour and 20 minutes into this match and a third of the way through the score. So this... Uh, it's going to be a long one. Yeah, they didn't change the score, Tar. It's seven four. Or is it? Didn't Dana win two? Oh, yes. oh, they got it now. Okay, yeah. We've got uh, 118 quality control experts catching their uh, <laughs> when they don't turn the scorecard or when they're whatever. We everybody's watching, you know. You know that even though Neil and Frank are playing around the 64, John and uh, Dana playing around the 32 here, ideally, and I'm I'm confident that this is like this. The uh, the brackets are such that that by advantage will uh, go the other way when they as they move to the second chance. So perhaps uh, the loser of the Frank uh, Frigo Neil Kazaroff's match will be. You're certainly not still behind and perhaps ahead of the loser of this match in the uh, second chance bracket. Mishi Poo, shout out to Brent Cohen. There's this BMAB International guy. Can 
you still haven't been able to do anything with that. This BMAB International guy is the guy that's been a jerk for days and Yeah, Dimitri, you can block him yourself, perhaps. Um we don't we don't have the administrative um control to to block anyone. Okay, so Dana needs to clean up something here. I play three in, and then uh, dude, I might have played uh, ten eight. That way, only okay, Tim. Have a good day. make the 10 which blocks the sixes from the the back guys but didn't block the sevens and, uh, so he picks up a hit now Tim you better listen to Mishy Poo she's one of the world's foremost experts on cats cats If I was going to put lard on the boils of a cat, I think I could do it myself and not have to go to the vet to get it done. But of course, you might want to muzzle on a hog wire fence, muzzle on a cat, and a fence between you and the cat when you start doing that sort of thing. Okay. Oh, the dance for the Mr. O'Hagan. Dana's got uh, quite a bit of ammunition lined up here. That's, that's TMI, Michelle. TMI. Oh, I was talking to Michelle's comment here. She said, I know what I do when I get a boil. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> uh, Neil Kazaros, and you might check with uh, Jeb and uh, and Rory to see what we might have over there. Okay, so Kazaros beat uh, Frigo. So uh, we'll be looking. Tara's going to go investigate. Well, they may not be totally up to date. So you. Yeah. Okay, so uh, match thinking it's a pretty easy take. I would, I would think so. He's, uh, I mean, there's some, there's some risk, but certainly if he can not get pointed on an anchor, he's got a decent four prime on the other side. I. He's trailing, so there's some additional incentive perhaps to take. Both of these guys have been pretty uh, judicious with their time usage. They, uh, you know, both have quite a bit of time left, although we're not uh, necessarily halfway through the match and from a score perspective. But, uh, you know, they're only slightly 
less than uh, half the uh, initial time. John takes this as we thought he might. Okay, and uh, Dana cannot uh, cannot do anything that he had hoped to do. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Or that's legal. I'm not. I don't know that it's right. Okay, John needing Mr. Anchor here doesn't get the anchor and uh, doesn't get much of anything. This is going to be a least of three evils as to what, uh, how you play the three. Mm, set of aces. So, uh, what do we do? Put two up. You make it. You could make the five point. Could put two up. Okay, and Dana just. Lays all the ammo out there. John rolls a 4-2, which hits. Now, uh, Dana needs to come in and hit again. Set of threes works uh, reasonably well. That's two, three, four. Okay, so now John, John's in, uh, in danger. Gets one in. He needs that anchor. He's five. Hits another. Now he's going to go to the bar. Oh, going to bring it down. More ammo. He's working on the five and the bar. He'd, he'd like to make the five, so I guess certainly that's the, the better play. Just don't give him aces from Dana's perspective. There's the five, so now Dana's going to have to attack this checker. Mm. And that hits one, two, three. Gonna, gonna cover it, I guess. Yeah. Back that up. Get anybody over there yet? Okay, so John uh, forestalls that five four that makes it and covers. Okay. Okay, so uh, O'Hagan has an ace point game and uh, she's going to have to try to sit out the storm. Ace, which is not what he wanted. He just has seen a dance for a while, but uh, maybe he can uh, move enough freight to uh, help him save the save the G down the road here. Okay, Dana's uh, 
moving on along rather rapidly. Okay, John's uh, building that home board in order as he would prefer. Okay, so uh, Old Hagen is uh, not in the best of shape. Dana do with his 4-1 obviously perhaps the 4 is off then it's the question to the 1 okay I would personally play 4-3 but I could well be wrong I, I tend to like to avoid plays where I could double blot bearing off and this play if you roll 6-5 next roll you uh, you double blot I, I don't like that. Ian doesn't like this. Matt doesn't like that. Ryan likes it. So, uh, go figure. Uh, Another 4-1. Dana's getting worn out with his 4-1s. O'Hagan would like to see anyone. Well, this time only a 3-1 by uh, Dana. Dana with the uh, nice practice of offset checkers for a tentative uh, tentative move. Always good practice to uh, be able to restore the original position, not get confused by shuffling checkers. Okay, so 3-1... Again, you, they take the time in these critical positions to don't get rushed. Look at your various options. Don't necessarily seize upon the knee-jerk reaction of a first blush. O'Hagan oh, still uh, still at the dance hall here. That aces. Dana's just rolling aces out his uh, posterior. Six five, so John at least is finally in play. Five two. Okay, what do you do here? What's he got? Uh, 
I was going to say, you're probably supposed to play 5-3. I'd certainly be tempted to take one off. Six three. Six three. That worked out supremely well. Okay. Six one. Oh, Hagen, uh, bearing a uh, G in the face here. Dot of the back, so he could leave a shot, which would have, and if hit, then of course, uh, you know, John could uh, save the G and uh, VG potentials. Boom, there's your shot. John looking for Mr. Deuce. No Mr. Deuce, and so now he's got to run. Yep, here we are. Coup Classic once more. Okay. Coup Classic, he has to stay. Boom. Only gets the chance of the one. He'll have another crack at winning off a 15th checker and doesn't do it. So he gets G'd. 11 4. Dana. It'll be interesting. Uh, we'll, certainly, we'll get to see Dana tonight, too. He's playing Brandon Macklin in the semifinals of the Masters jackpot at 8 p.m. tonight. And O'Hagan is playing uh, Stuart Hosen. So both of these guys are in the semifinals of the Masters as well. Deuce one has to make the point, split the back which enhances the potential of escaping, but then uh, Dana rolls 4-1 to make the bar. 3-5, he can make the three. And you can see these guys, uh, as many are, but certainly they're most proficient at it. They... Uh, they, when the moves are rather obvious, kind of a forced obvious, they're they're playing quite rapidly and don't burn any time. But you know, when the uh, circumstances call for it, they're they're deliberate. So uh, they they manage their time well. There's a, a three-two by uh, John to make that anchor. You're right, Matt. I uh, misrecalled that. So uh, Brandon won and does play Jeff tonight. That's the one I was talking about. Jeff's wearing, uh, known for his loud shirts, has on a particularly loud shirt tonight. So uh, wear your shades to that match. Yeah, they only had 16 uh, in the Masters, so it's uh, a day ahead of what uh, the schedule anticipated. Okay, John trailing 11-4. This is a very similar position Dana had a game or two ago. John took the cube, Dana takes this cube. Mm -hmm. 
John's going to uh, try to seize the opportunity here. Misses the five-point blot, but gets the one on the nine. So John, well, that's Santa. Not a, certainly not what he had in mind. He was hoping to come in and cover, but uh, comes in and is able to do nothing. No, Joe, I think, uh, and I don't know if he's gotten the rating or not, but uh, Frigo's here. Um, let me look at the... Uh, that's that's probably it. Huh? Okay, Jonah beat Aaron Faust just now. Four two. Not particularly attractive. He's going to have to play there. Okay, so. One. But this is, goes his way. This may be the last game of the match here. Dana holding a two cube with the. Uh, some gammon potential, although John's got the four point anchor. So, uh, it's ugly, but not probably, it's not obviously as much gammon potential as he, you know, against an ace point game or a deuce point game. He's got a four point game. So. Set of fours, that's going to... Okay. Tara's out scouting matches uh, to see what we uh, might have next. The winner of this match plays the winner of uh, Kit Woolsey, Sam Ahmed. Uh, Kit's a heavy favorite there, so if... Uh, if Kit does win that match, then probably uh, have his match with the winner of this on stream one. And then we'll have to find somebody for uh, stream two. Okay, so uh, Dana's going to bring this home. He's looking for that three-point. Has to leave an indirect, but shot nonetheless. John does not get it. John's a big favorite to save. Might get a shot here.
Okay. And one, so Dana and then John's gonna have to go, so. Not an immediate shot, so. And Dana's saying that just recubing this and claiming the two points. Oh, pardon me, folks. Late night before we got out of here, got everything put away, and then uh, had to be back in here early to get things set up. Not over here, huh? Okay, Dana's going to claim that. So he's up 13 4. porn rooms again and they follow you over here or what only teasing okay two away 11 away so uh five four makes the anchor so okay kit's leading sam Ahmed 10 7 on Winner that plays the winner of this. There's uh, Aaron Faust over here. I understand you might have dropped a tough one there, man. Tough draw, Jonas. Good player. Yeah, we could do that. Probably been more entertaining than this 13 to 4 match. Yeah. What was yours? Okay. So, uh, Tara thinks, uh, looks like maybe we're going to have on stream two starting, uh, Mays Petrosi and, and, uh, Alfredo Unis. And, uh, then ideally if Kit, prevails as he should in his match with Sam Ahmed and hit versus the winner of this on stream one. Okay. John sends a early one. He's, he's in dire straits. So, uh, what can he do? He make the five point to give a, a blot to do it, but certainly probably worth it. But uh, Dana does roll a six and uh, claims that blot. Deuces. Point. And now the deuce of your choice. This one allows him uh, potential to make the, the bar, but Dana again, second six, five in a row. So... Uh, that a six is for John, cleans that up pretty good, hits a checker, makes the bar. <clears throat> so he's got that checker behind a five prime. Cube in play. Do six. Yeah. O'Hagan needs, uh, what is that, a five two to make that back, uh, or six one to clear the trailer. Dana'd like a four to hit it. 
doesn't get it, makes the three. Okay, John's in uh, pretty reasonable shape. Five, three. Four, three for... Okay, stream two is going to be, as we pronounce it different ways, Mayas Petrosian or Mays Petrosian from L.A. against Alfredo Unis of uh, Brazil. So that'll be a fun, good match. I don't want you to. I don't want to throw it. Okay. Or Dana to somehow manage a, uh, a shot here. A claiming shot here. He's got a very nice board developed. One six from the oh baby. I'll just give him that one number and uh, whammo. There's the one number. So uh, this this could be could be curtains here. One six from the bar from Brazil. I've never been to Ireland, Sean. I would, uh, I would like to do that sometimes. We got four international trips planned this year, though, so. Maybe we can work it out next year. We need help, Bill. We always need help. There's Mr. Fogerlin. How'd you do in your match this morning? Better than I did in my match last night. Okay. <laughs> well, that's encouraging. But that means I could have lost 15 to 6. Guinness on Sean Casey. You know, Sean, uh, if you follow us much, you may know that our miniature dachshund, who is black and tan in color, his name is Guinness. Hey, look at this. Is Dana really considering heading loose with this? I'd, I mean, he's he's way up, but who's the favorite here, Ray? I think Black. I would have to think Black, but like uh, six primes. If he hits him that night, going for the gammon. See, oh, Dana. He well, he left. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. The gammon. He's John just, left gam. Uh, Dana one six earlier in this uh, game, and and Dana rolled the one six. Right. And Dana, uh, Dana leaves the, took the. He doesn't mind taking the complicated option. All right, now okay. what's going on? Hope the six trying to hit. I don't know. I don't know. That was interesting. Well, I asked you who was the favorite, and you said black, and MCG and said missed. white. <laughs> but, but did he say it after Dana hit him loose? I'm not sure. Okay. Now, who cares what MCG says? And He's just and the Ur best Urso in the had, galaxy. Urso had asked the question. You said black. Matt said white and Ursa said, I just asked a question I don't even know. <laughs> well, <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> and then hit loose, huh? Anyway, whenever there's a difference of opinion and one side is Matt and the other side is me, believe Matt. Bet on Matt's side. Hit. But when we have to play, then bet on me. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hi, Matt. Good to see you out there. Why aren't you here? That's the question. Okay. Three picks from the bar. That holds his timing. That's not so bad. He wanted to hit or miss. The MCG says, hi, Ray. He acknowledges your... Uh, don't be giggling out there now, Matt. Two six from the bar. Now he uh, he did not mention your vein, your name in vain last night, Matt. He spoke very, uh, how shall we say, spoke very complimentary of you. 
I spoke highly of the young man. Just, despite the fact that he pointed out your blunders. Of which there were few. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to make a 200 blunder and still yet play 1.3, you know? Yeah. He was whining about that because he could have played under a 1 if he hadn't <laughs> have done that. Okay, so John hoping to get back in the match here. Well, this might be the worst variation of the hit loose play that Dana tried earlier. But Dana, if he's going to lose a game, he's going to lose it while he's trying to win. And see, he, he didn't stop fighting for the points just because he was up 13 to 4. He fired away. Everybody else in the, in the whole tournament would not have broken the six prime. So Dana might well be the only one that was right. Did anybody chime in on that one, Phil? No. Yeah. I could have broke the six prime. What did Matt say about it? He didn't say anything about breaking the six prime? I've always liked Dana's plays, so. Well, the one thing you find out about Dana plays is you challenge him, and then he puts it into his XG mobile, and you find out that Dana was right. Hey, Dana is one of the perhaps most under the radar screen great players not only in the country but in the world i think absolutely no doubt about it and and he's a fat target on my radar screen <laughs> it starts going off when i get near the building but john has shown him what know, a mistake was, it was uh, to break his six yes. prime <laughs> i was hoping and, and i don't think he is but i was hoping he might uh Head over to Istanbul and play in the uh, UBC Contender Tournament. I know Mark uh, Olson was going to try and get in touch with him and encourage him to to. Uh, well, he's the kind of guy that would do that, and yeah. uh, but of course, you know, last night he was playing across from me while John uh, O'Hagan was wiping up the <clears throat> floor with me. Uh, yeah, he had that tough match with Brandon. He lost to Brandon. What was the score of that one? Fifteen twelve. O'Hagan got a shot at it here. Yep. I do any 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 doublet. If he rolls Boom. one, they don't even flinch. But <laughs> all right, thirteen to six. Got to take off my coat if I'm going to be working. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the other way, the timing is just. So who'd you beat this morning? Um, I had to uh, survive some adversity against uh, Linda, Clary, Linda Clay. but I managed to win an eight cube. So hey, Linda Clay's been. Uh, we were laughing yesterday. You know, in the first round, the the very first round, the rebuy round in Texas, she beat Victor in the first round. Yesterday in the rebuy round, she beat Jonah in the first round. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and she was beating me. But uh, she gave a four cube when she was ahead, and I took that, and then I double on the come in an eight cube. Okay, so. Uh, you stop it three minutes. Okay. Yeah, O'Hagan stopped the bleeding and actually got a couple of points there. So. Uh, and O'Hagan's one of those guys. I mean, he's not sending over the cube. I mean, you should have sent it at, like any hint of an advantage, but what's going on here? They're stopping in there. Well, Chatting Hagen, now the clock's well, he's running. Thinking about he's thinking about it now. He's supposed to double, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I would think that... Uh, there. KG has joined us. KG's in the house. Philippe has joined us. Hi, KG and Philippe. Both of you guys have beat me. But I'm not holding it against you. Hopefully, uh, KG might have saw your lecture last night. He always enjoys some good entertainment as well, you know. <laughs> well, KG is a much smoother orator than I am. But... 
All right, Ace, and I guess I would just anchor, but Dana's going to think about all the possibilities. So it makes him really great. Good job. Dana sort of like to play with anchors. He's got the cube already, so that looks sort of take gammons out of the picture and uh you know he'll just try to win with the other guys and that in that i think the one of the uh ace principles or foundations of mitchy's stuff is uh you make an anchor and play with the other 13 guys yeah <laughs> or something i don't exactly know what the two and 13 or something so uh 13 guys can make the six prime well, it's amazing. It's it down funny, the how often, the uh, funny how often this happens. I mean, we these two stream matches this morning. You know, there's 41 winners advanced in the winner's bracket. And Neil and Frank drew each other. And Frank and uh, John and Dana drew each other in the first round. Neil and Frank Frigo? Yeah. Oh. And Neil won. Okay. And they had antibodies, so they were in the round of 64. Where, I tell you. Uh, these guys are in round of 32. You guys, you want to know my secret for the Calcutta auction? What's that? Buy Neil. He never <laughs> buys back. <laughs> and he's the all-time number one ABT player. What's up, Steve? The only guy probably better than him is Steve Sachs. Hi, Steve. Can I borrow some of those boards you your lecture yesterday and smack my opponents? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, brother. Good luck, man. Yeah. Okay. You win this morning? Oh, that was a... You know what they say, Steve? You do? Okay. It, it, well, if you what, play what, bad, you lose. That's what they what's say. What's good here, though, it's doubly limb, so you ain't dead. <laughs> it looks like you need to stand a little closer to the razor. Oh, did you? They're, they're hard to beat. <laughs> Steve uh, Sachs lost to uh, someone this morning. I, I don't know who he was playing, but he was laughing with Ray. Uh, and Steve was here during uh, Ray's lecture last night. And Steve said, I lost to a taker. And, of course, that was one of Ray's uh, points last night. Takers are hard to beat. 25 years ago, I came up with that. And, uh... Okay. Okay. Three point. Matt calls that one. Okay, Dana ended up giving up the three anchor, and now John has the three point. Now, Dana's got a pretty solid position, but I didn't see, we were talking to all the bystanders, and I missed the sequence that Dana gave up the anchor. Oh, look at this. Did you get Maze and. Uh, Two six from the bar going? would be a good shake here. Four six, no. Working on it, huh? Dana got pointed on. John's going to work now, Bill. That's Alfredo. I think I would come with a three and step up with the. Oh, John did that. All right, I might have stepped up, but. Okay, so we're going to have on stream two, um, Mayus or Mays Petrosian, and uh, Alfredo Unis. That'd be a nice match. Oh, this is an anti Joker for. This is why I, part of the reason why I would have stepped up to the two point before when John slotted the bar. <sighs> Gives him fives in addition to six. And hit hitter. Yep. Now it's going south. I see a lot of people, well, Dana just makes the best. Look, Look at, at this. At the, Look he at keeps this. getting punished for breaking his anchor. Oh my God. That was cruel and unusual punishment. That's illegal in the United States. Yeah. So let's go in there and arrest John. <laughs> there, Kazaros in there scouting the competition there. Oh, yeah. He's looming. Look at Dana Look at says, this. you need a bigger thing, John. <laughs> well, when it's going your way, it's going your way, right? That's a, He's rolling a lot of one sixes, but he keeps breaking anchors, man. John's trying to punish him. All right. Dana will make a regular play and make the 14 point this time. We're up to 150 early now. Uh, All right. We're in prime time in uh, Europe right now, too, so that helps probably. Oh, 
Okay. So, uh, 13 to 8. Well, that's kind of. Yeah. Okay. Now, John's probably going to have to break here shortly. Oh, he, he said he's going to hold on and leave this six. I don't know if I would break the six point, but if John did it, I'm going to guess that he was right. Look out. Look out. That's a shot? No, it's no. not. No. Okay. But it's it's awkward. It was awkward, yeah. All right, Dana doesn't need to do anything special, and he doesn't want to waste any time. Is he down to 34 seconds? Zero minutes, 34 seconds? 34 no, three, 349. 349? Okay. Okay. Dana's waiting for John to break something, and then there's, he can go after him. breakage. These kind of a situation, sometimes it's better to break off the nine point, leave the checker there instead of trying to minimize shots, right. create some bad shakes. Because like, there's some bad shakes in there. And then also you maintain contact with the three anchor if you stay on the nine point. And you got to leave a shot anyway, so John figures maybe he's got enough chance in the race he'll just come off the back anchor. Well, that makes for some. Ooh, didn't, that's a nice. Isn't it shake. always like that when a guy's got builders like that, and he just points on you? I guess Dana, like you said, he's hot. Who's sick from the bar? Now Dana has two builders. They're gonna roll a six-two, five-one. Five-one. Okay, John needs to sustain one more roll here without having to break. But uh, so much for that. Yep, that's a crunchy peanut butter. All right, here we go. Dana will be attacking mercilessly now, Whoa. I predict. But uh, let's see, how does he do it? Make the deuce? I don't know. He doesn't even have, He's got a safe play. Is What's he ahead it? in the race? He's going to count that. So he's up six. Oh, he's going to clear the stick safe? Yeah, that's a safe play. Or he could make the uh, two point. And yeah, that's just what I'm thinking. Make the, make the deuce, but... Let's see. He's up six out there and 23 is 29. The yeah. That, okay. That's uh, some Matt people said must hit. We were in agreement with that. It's just uh, two, two, what? What was that? Two, two thick, thick from, from the, the bar. bar. <laughs> Dana says, if even he gets out, I'll get a five. Look at that. Isn't backgammon stupid? Look at this. But look out with the cubit play. We could be looking at a fairly tight match here. Now, over on stream two, they're just kicking off uh, Alfredo Unis of Brazil and um, Mayas Petrosian from Los Angeles. So, uh, should be a good match. A couple of good players. Unis is uh, oh, John's gonna hit pretty Luke. well known internationally. He won the uh, Super Jackpot in Monte Carlo four years ago against Chris Trencher in the final. And I'll tell you, y'all know Chris Trencher is a good player. So, uh, what should John do with his three here, Bill? Oh, uh, what should John do with his three? Gammons are just, important. Yeah, got to go for it. Hmm. Dana rolls an immediate six. The wrong kind. Okay, he's got a lift. Yeah, he'll live now. He wants four, but he doesn't want to. Two six not from the win bar? Two, How many two know? sixes from the bar have we seen in this game? Look here. It can pass. Nope. No, it was four two. I saw it at four one initially. Okay. John would like to claim four, but he just wants to be sure that he doesn't lose two. Yeah, losing two would be bad for John's match winning chances. <laughs> Okay, so Dana's got six, eight, nine, ten crossovers to save. <coughs> John's got eleven crossovers to G. So it's, it's pretty close. Advantage to Dana to save. Big advantage to Dana to save. 
Might be gin to save now. Nope. But it's close. Close. Oh, that might be five to four. I thought it was five to four. But... And what went again? Two, two, one. When in doubt, two, two one. John's two, play. One oh, my God. Would that have made that a alert? difference? <laughs> <laughs> now, J Dane will roll an ace and John will roll a non ace. No, okay. Okay. No no swing. No swing. We called that, though. 5 4. Boom. Okay. Looks well, like it's you know, break those time. Who can do and those who can't commentate. Bill, <laughs> know that. Well, some of us commentate much more than others. Yeah. <laughs> There's commentary. Okay, we're going to. It's common. Tars are going to put up the two streams here side by side while John and. Uh, well, I have to increase my fee if I got to talk about two different matches. Yeah. <laughs> Tax, taxes you a little, a little much, huh? I'm waiting for a match to get done. Oh. While there's a break in the action, I'll go over there and shit. I'll be right back. Okay. Ray's going to go check on his future opponent. Plays the winner of a given match. I'm not sure who. I guess I could pull the brackets up on my trusty phone here. Oh, wow. Just happened to look. What time is it? It's 2.22 in the central. Another big up day in the market. That's good. Uh, okay, there's, what do we got? Well, Mays and uh, Alfredo in the first game. Now, Mays is, lives in L.A., but he's of Armenian heritage. He has the Armenian flag up there, and Alfredo is from Brazil. Oh, that's not what I want. I want this... Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so Kazaros had won. He's awaiting the uh, Tristan Betancourt John Viator match. Yeah, he's rope. He's Petrosian. Critical junctures. Well, they're on break, so we put them both up. So did Dan. Yeah. Okay. Overland waiting on Stuby and Minardi, huh? Yeah, they're still playing 13 to 10. What's Petrosian's flag? What is Armenian? Armenian? Yeah. He's gotten to know him a couple of, a little bit. He's been to Texas the last two years. Really enjoys the tournament and a really nice guy. I, I really like the guy. Yeah, I've never heard him say anything. I mean, maybe it's he, the language thing or something. But no, he's actually fluent with little well. or no accent. Um, KG back in the house saying hello again. Hi, KG. It's me, Ray. So we've got uh, Tara. We'll have fun. Tara's technology of having both streams up at once while John and Dana are on break here. Once they come back, we'll go back to that singular screen. But we're just taking a sneak peek at Petrosian and uh, Lunis in their first game. This is like a giant pass, right? Yeah, I would think so. Unis has, what, nine checkers? And, oh, he snaps that up. Let's see what happens. It's an optimistic, optimistic computer. Not, uh, not at the moment. I don't think that was a rather optimistic take. But uh, let's see. Well, one thing it's about it, he can't get gammon. Yeah, I, I think I would go three to two here. Then a three. No, that you want a gap on the three point there because you can play six, threes five. off the six point and twos this. come off. So you know, throws another small number, and uh, Mays could. Oh, we'll never know. 
Okay. So here we go. Dana and John. Now, Dana was up 13-4, and John's won two points, two consecutive match, uh, now, games. It's interesting that Dana would probably already won this match if he played like anybody else and wasn't fighting for every last point. He opened himself up to a couple of jokers and got nailed by one in each of the last two games. So John snuck back into the match. But that's a hallmark of Dana's play, man. He is, If he loses, it was because he was trying to win. KG says back to that prior game, uh, hitting with the three on the six point was correct by .046. I'm not sure I remember. Oh, yeah, hitting. Yeah, I felt like that was right. I mean, just for the score value, the gammons are worth so much more than, the, you know, I mean, if mm -hmm. you get hit, you lose, maybe. But you're trying to win the match, and, uh, you know, the gammon price sort of dictated that you go for it there, I believe. But thanks, KG, for putting that in. You're welcome to put any of these other positions in and help us out if we make some boo-boos over here. Aunt Goulding, hey, Ray, acknowledges you. Uh -huh. Mays did win that race. Oh, my God. <laughs> was it, but was it that? What did what, you say last night? Takers are hard, hard to, to beat. beat. Yeah. <laughs> and quitters never win. If he would have quit, he wouldn't have won that game. <laughs> okay, so John uh, sends it. He's uh, anyway in that kind of situation. I sort of like it in a way when the other guy wins because then he'll feel like he could do that again. Mm -hmm. Now well, he look here; like he these two again. points, the nine and the three, don't work very well together. So Dana did that um, for the moment, but next thing you know, he'll give up the nine point to do something. Else. Like the five point for instance. There you go. Most prescient. I Mr. cannot. Boglin. It's it's just hard to understand backgammon as well as I do sometimes. <laughs> no. All right. Well, you pl probably played as long and more matches than anyone else. Yeah, more matches than anybody. I didn't play them too good, but I played a lot of them. <laughs> Few things you haven't seen. <laughs> Six four. Now I, I do like Dana's been, and we've noted it here. Really, he's really uh, conscientious of offsetting his checkers with looking at various plays and so forth. Uh huh. Uh, good, good practice in uh, in that regard. All right, each, guy, each of these guys is trying to prime the other one, and John has a definitive advantage because he's got five points, and Dana only has four. And but John, John may had have two to, checkers trapped back there. He has to give up, or he may well give up the... Uh, no, he's apparently not going to give up the bar. No, he should play six to two here because and preserve that builder. And... uh. And and damn the torpedoes. He can't make the five. Oh, oh, he, no, you're right. Yeah, that's right. He could have made the five point. I don't know. That might may just work out. But, you know, it goes against the human grain. <laughs> Leave a shot. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. We, Sax was over here. We knew he'd lost. We didn't know who he lost to. He was... Uh, he was a dejected camper. Now, Aaron, uh, John, John O'Hagan wishes he had made the five point. You're right, brother. Yeah. And I found out, I was happy to find out that we had had a buy. So, yeah. Four one. Yeah, he's got to clear the bar. No, he could slot that. He could slot the five, but let's see. If he wants to block sixes, like no, he yeah, he should just clear it, and then if Dana goes with a six, he just attacks him with stuff that exactly, doesn't run. Yeah, reminded Ray of what he said last night. 
hard to beat takers, apparently. Steve said he played a taker right after he told us he lost. So, <clears throat> But it is a double limb tournament. Mm -hmm. so you got to lose. Uh, got to lose two. In these tournaments, the most important match is the undefeated final. And you want to get your hedges in there because you can come back and still do some I like stuff. that. So, uh oh, look at this. Well, Kent Golding, it's a religious battle. Holy primes. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh Watch out, here. Dana. Gotta He's going to hit you. Boom. Oh, would double the, aces work here? Now we're into the all or nothing mode. Oh. Oh, oh. What should he do now? We have options. Oh, Dana, he is up, and he's going to come down. All right, yep. All right, he's just going to force. John's going to have to run two guys around the board. It'll be easier nope. if he gets an ace, but he didn't. All right. Dana, one of Dana's big plays worked. Uh-oh. And uh, uh -oh. he would like a mulligan that's, on this one. About, about his worst. Yeah. At least it cuts down on the G's. Or three. Four. Go to the three. Is this gonna be is this gonna be like the third game in a row that Dana could have won real easily and they ended up snatching defeat from the jaws of victory? Oh look at that. Crunching the six point. Okay, O'Hagan's gonna fire on all cylinders here. He's gonna run and spank. <laughs> GG. Don't don't laugh at him. It encourages him, you know. <laughs> uh, oh, spanky work. Uh, uh oh, what's going on? Does that cover? It's got to cover from somewhere, doesn't it? One, two, two three, four. No, uh, if, it, if it one, had five, it would two, get there. Three. If you yeah. got five fours, it would make it. Okay, now here's where. Dana ends the proceedings. Boom. Quack. No good. I think the proceedings are going to continue for some time. Oh, my God. Look at, Look this. at this. Number one. One. Two. Two. Three. You know, that's my four. play, too. I would have done that. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You usually don't make that play because XG does it for you. The <laughs> Galaxy does it for you. You know? The well, that play. one wasn't forced. So you got to move three guys off the six point. <laughs> and reinforce the ace. Look at Dana. How you doing, Tom Willard? Dana was a giant favorite again, and now he's <laughs> coming around the board as loser. And this is going to be like one salty match if Dana loses it. He was, hey, he was up, he up 13, 13 to 4. four. <laughs> and this is the third game in a row where he could easily have won. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing for sure, we'll have Aaron go up and remind Dana of yeah. that right after yeah, he loses there. this match. He'll be uh, <laughs> he'll be real amenable to get yeah yeah. Hearing about That's what that. you want to do is say, man, you should never broke that. I came at thirteen to four, Dana. Oh man. Oh man. All right. Okay. So here we go. And now, is it my imagination or is Dana's face a little redder? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's getting that birthmark developing on the left side of his neck there after this match. Look, Aurori, he's like a moth to a light when it comes to the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, all right. So, uh, you know, we may find out that Dana has just played some spectacularly great backgammon while he's losing these last three games. Um and one thing you can count on, he's going to keep going for it and damn the torpedoes. He'd make a best play to win, you know, when everybody else would be just trying not to lose. <laughs> well, and he, and you need to play that way against a grinder, a great player like O'Hagan. Right? Yeah. He's like, he's numbers. I asked him last night. He's, I think he's number seven or eight on the galaxy list. And you know, there isn't any dead wood at that level. And uh, KG and I are probably down around number five or six hundred. At least I am. I, but 
And that's a great thing, you know. I uh, at Gamma Galaxy is sort of sponsoring this in a way, I guess, and uh, it's a place where everybody goes now. Yeah, it's the new thing, latest greatest. It's kind of cool that if you don't get outplayed, you don't lose a point. Yeah, you lose a match over there. That's that's one of the greatest innovations ever, I guess. All right, Prime versus Prime. This is the kind of game that John wants, but uh, he doesn't want it with the cube in the middle so much. He's five away, though, and Dana is two away, so he can't give him just... Dana can sort of... Ign if he can ignore Gammon somehow, if there's not very much Gammon threat, Dana can take down to about 18%, so that's why John's holding off a little bit. Because he, if he hands over a two cube, he loses the match anytime he loses. So he wants to make sure he's got a gammon threat first, and then, at the, at a hint of that, he should send it over and uh, work on Dana's psychology and see if he can scare him. But uh, Dana doesn't scare too easy. We all know. So what does he got? Six three. Can't oh is, should make the Does he got the whole thing? He should just make the bar point, right? No, I mean, he's thinking about running out. Okay. He wants a prime versus prime game. If he gets hit, it actually helps him uh make an advanced anchor. Matt says he would run. All right. And, and John does. He John kinda Okay, if Matt says that and John did it, then I was wrong. And Dana nails the shot. Uh-oh, Jana's going to... Oh, is he going to be on the bar or is it going to be the four point? I think he's got to be up, right? What do you do? Split well, and play to the 14? Yeah, you could split or you can just come up. You know you're gonna send it over if he fans. I guess the time to split is now. You don't want to be sitting back on the ace point. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Dana just hoping he doesn't fan. He got that was good. You might want to link those guys up, but I, I guess not. All right. Now here's where John could send it. He's got uh, yeah, he's got three play. builders for the three point. He's got a double direct shot of the one in the outfield, and that he's he's looking for a four pointer to take the lead. Um, he's a little bit short on ammo, uh, but he does have ten guys in the zone, and. Uh, I think it, you know, score dictates, you know, his gammon price is up there. And uh, Dana's got to be a little bit careful. So, you know, you send somebody. But I think if you're John, that you know that Dana is going to be snapping this up. <laughs> See, there it goes. Didn't hardly hit the board. And Dana took it. And I'm, I'm going to so guess that it was double take anyway. Got to hit, huh? And. Yeah, you which, hit with a three and four? then figure it out. To the 11, huh? You hit him on the 10 and come to the 11. <laughs> yeah, just leave yeah. the back, guys. All right. Now, if Dana can make an anchor, he can um, be in a great spot. Oh, my God. Ooh, he even looked up to the skies there. Wasn't too happy about that. Now bring the four down. John's just gonna bring all the wood. Well, he can bring it down. He can't move in the back. Yeah, just get some more lumber to the construction site. Stuby, did you win? Ray and Stuby. Oh, okay. One. You don't have to watch for long. No, what? I'll get up after this game because this game's going to be over pretty soon. Look at this. Dana was up 13 to 4, and he's on the cusp of Pulling being down. down 14 to 13. Yeah.
He should step up with that. No, he doesn't want to risk double fours. I get. Well, that's going to be bad number anyway. You know you're in trouble. You got to play Mr. Stuby here, who is from Houston, which is where Bill and Tar are from. You know. Well, I've heard that name a lot of times, but I never have played him. Could you tell me if he's a taker? <laughs> what? I, well, we'll say. Were you at the lecture last night? Did you watch it last night? Oh, you should have seen it before you play him. <laughs> It's hard to pick up all that knowledge at one. Just remember these couple things he said. It's hard to beat a taker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give him the gist of it, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Uh, Dana, yes! Without oh a choker! Oh no! Oh, they're going to hear us in the other room. John O'Hagan is hating life after he heard that roar. Nope. There he goes. He missed, but it's okay. The damage is done. Okay, play there and step up. I don't know. Yeah. You Usually, you generally want to be back on the ace point when you get these problems. 15 matches up. Oh, wow, man. what a heroic double fours by Dana. That was, I look at John O'Hagan. Mr. Rimmels is in the house. Oh, look at that. Oh, he, that was a crunchy play. And Dana, oh, he Dana should, should double hit. he maybe should, and he, he will, but. The way I, he's been playing, he's double hitting. Yeah. yeah. And now John will roll double aces and steal another game. Uh. That double aces would have been a hell of a joker there. Guess I would have come in with the six, but I guess there's not much difference. I'm starting to, yeah, I'm starting to like green. I'm starting to like Dana's position here. Uh oh, setting himself up for a double three anti joker. Okay, it might be time to get out and come bring in one more builder closer, Dana. I, I think so. Nine eight, nine eight, come out. Why didn't he go nine eight? He only left himself with two builders. Oh, he doesn't want two blots around in case. Uh, he doesn't want more blots in case. John rolls the joker. He's still trying to hit that guy. Five in and four around. Four out. He doesn't need it. All right. That's right. He doesn't need a gammon. It'd be nice to close him out, but no big deal. Look out. There. Rosie O'Donnell clearing her throat over in the... Stage wing left there. Is she preparing to sing? Preparing to sing. <laughs> well, thank you. All right. Well, Klaus Dana survived. Him. He was. Dana was getting Gammon to go down in a match that he was leading 13 to 4, and, and he fired a double, a double four, four. Super Joker. <laughs> Don't you just got to love backgammon, Bill? Uh, <laughs> man. Okay, so his kit match finished. Okay. Uh-oh, that's game over. Game over. But John's not going to shake hands yet. Even though he's got six crossovers outside, he might do it pretty quick. Okay, now the winner of this match, which uh, would appear as Dana Nazarian, will play the winner of Kit Wilsey Sam Ahmed. Kit's big favorite. If Kit wins that, then uh, Dana Kit will be on stream one here. 
And we have Mays Petrosian playing Alfredo Unis on stream two currently. Give it up, John. I'm going to give up. He wants to save the gammon. Yeah. All right, Dan. Well done. <laughs> there All it right. is. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ray's going to go play there Mr. Go. Stubby. Yep. Good he's luck to you. taker, I heard. Good luck to you, you guys. <laughs> Only if he's in the zone. I heard it's ducking me, babe. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to switch over for the short term to the Mays Petrosian and uh, Alfredo Unis match. Alfredo is from Brazil, won a 2019 Monte Carlo Super Jackpot over Chris Trencher, good friend of mine and a great American player. And Mays is from. Uh, Armenian heritage, but from uh, Los Angeles area now. And looks like uh, things are going. He hits with that and then brings one in, another one in. Uh, looks like things are going his way. Set of four. So this could be, uh, well, he cashes it. 7-0 maze. Actually, I think it's officially Mayas. I always say Mays. That's the Armenian flag. Mays Society, he's of Armenian heritage, lives in Los Angeles. And the, of course, the Brazilian flag of Alfredo, we're all familiar with that one a little bit from uh, World Cup soccer and things of that nature. Okay, so there, uh, Tara's out there scouting that next match. Uh, we're thinking it's going to be uh, Woolsey and uh, Nazarian, but uh, stranger things have happened sometimes. 1248, Dana and uh, O'Hagan played. What, three hours? Uh, no, two hours and 40 minutes or something of that nature. So, uh, most interesting, there's a cube by Alfredo. Maze takes it out of his hand rather than let him set it on the uh, table. Nice set of fours. It's two up, guys. Okay. And these guys are playing warp speed. <laughs> They're uh, 7 0, and Alfredo's used 46 seconds, and Mays has used two and a half minutes. Okay. Thank you, uh, KG. Glad you stopped by. We'll be at it all day today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So join us at your leisure. Mm. Okay, so here we proceed. Three, one. Okay. You want to do commentary for a minute while I step down the hall? <laughs> Need to do what? Oh. No cigar. 
That was a great match. What a roll, that double four, huh? You want to sit down for a minute? I need to step down the hall, or you got a match. Okay. Okay. O'Hagan in good humor. Despite losing to Dana, great match. And he made a great rally from 13-4 down. Looked like he was going up 14-13. And Dana rolls the double four super joker from the bar. Two in the air to a five-point board. Comes in with the double fours and... Uh, which came in and pointed on uh, John and uh, Dana's home board. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh. Ooh, foo, foo. Pardon me. Yeah, Roberto, I saw the tar come back in here and told us that uh, Mays won that first game on that after that take. But uh, we're missing you in arena this weekend. Uh, I'd like to have seen y'all. You know, and the thing, Ian, I think... Uh, well, both these guys are good players. Mays is, is uh, kind of a under-the-radar screen type as well. He's a good player. And uh, as you can see, and it's not unlike people from Armenia and the Balkan Peninsula area, that part of the world, very fast player too. Uh, probably to his detriment a bit, but has good instincts, uh, knows the game, plays very fast. Yeah, Alfredo hadn't even used a minute yet. A minute and two seconds. Getting them still going. Which one? Yeah, and O'Hagan has been on a number of times and is going to be on tonight, too. Steve hasn't been on at all. Ooh. Okay. So where are we? Maze is uh there it is, he's in. He's gonna go to the seven point probably. Alfredo needs to, to hit him. Can Maze needs another deuce. Doesn't get it. Alfredo can close him out with a three or a ten. There's the ten. Boom. Okay. So, uh, Alfredo, uh, maybe we can get back in the match here. Kind of a, not a high percentage of gammons, but there are some gammons out there. How many percentage here? Well, before it infected. 
uh, none now zero uh, <laughs> before the bear off started i don't know it was uh i'm not as good as many with that but i would have said he's probably had i don't know 15 percent g's or something with uh, what one in the air and five on the uh seven and eight so it wasn't high but uh you know the double six cured that okay. so 14 12 kit woolsey over sam on man right now if kit wins that then kit plays a dana and that'll be on uh, stream one Yeah, they, uh, this is like super speed gammon. I have three. Okay. But they play, uh, you know, it's an interesting pairing because they, they both like to play fast and they're just, they're just feeding on each other and. What? Well, we'll just have to see. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we got apparently uh, a uh, Brazilian fan of Alfredo that's joined the group. Welcome, Audio. Okay, this uh, another opportunity perhaps for uh, Alfredo to uh, really make up some ground. Get back into this match. The cube's in play. There's a nice 2 6 from the bar. Two six from the bar. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Alfredo's got an excellent opportunity here. Yeah, I don't know. 
Mm, pardon me. Huh? These fifteen point matches can uh can actually run quite long. Fifteen pointer on average will run about two hours and forty five minutes, and that's exactly what uh Dana and John O'Hagan uh, played. Yeah, Joe, we were talking about that earlier. May and uh Mays and uh Alfredo both play quite rapidly. There's some bad numbers in here. That's only a single blotter. There were six five was a double blotter. Yeah, Ray. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Mays closed him out. Cassius, 9 to Mays, Marmias, Petrosian. Yeah, these guys, I didn't note the time when they started, but this one uh, may be early. And what we'll do to, uh, you know, dinner breaks at 5 p.m., Locals. Okay. Uh, Kit one. Kit and uh, Dana are going to be playing on uh, stream one here shortly. I have to. I'm going to step away for just a few minutes before this other match starts. So y'all enjoy this one. And uh, very shortly, we'll be going to. Uh, Kit Woolsey and Dana Nazarian in the uh, round of 16 in the winner's bracket. So be back shortly.
Oh, okay, folks, excuse my absence, but uh, even a commentator has to have an occasional break. So the occasional break is over. So these guys are still at 9-2, so I didn't miss much. One game. Okay. Whoa, look here. At a price, gets four off, but he has to leave a shot. Mays misses it. Now he's uh, racing around to try to beat the G. Oh, so much for that. Here we are at the beginning of the Pit Woolsey Dana Nazarian match, round of 16. Undefeated bracket. What did you say? Dana, fresh off of. Uh, Really great win, long match over uh, John O'Hagan and Kit beat Sam Mogman in an even longer match. That match uh, was close to three hours. Dana and John only played two hours and 45 minutes. So here we go, two uh, big name elite players. So this, uh, this should be exciting. That doesn't look good. Now these guys, both guys are from the Bay Area. Know each other well. It's going to take the forward anchor. I'm sorry. Legends here, huh? Yeah, both from the same neighborhood as well. Oh, yeah. Well, they know each other. Yeah. They're familiar. They're familiar. 
Okay, Kit's going to play the 6-1. Now, Kit, been around forever and is a member of both the uh, American Backgammon Hall of Fame and the uh, Bridge Hall of Fame. So, uh, a great, accomplished uh, games player, two different, uh, two different genres. Started uh, talking earlier before I took my little break. That dinner break here is at 5 p.m. It's currently a little after one, so roughly four hours. So uh, let's see how long this match takes. Maybe uh, the last match on the stream one before the dinner break. Maybe uh, more time for a second, uh, another match on stream two. Not sure what they're talking about here. Sounds like a stupid rule. Y'all can perhaps hear the table mics. Uh, I can't. I don't know. It's letting, uh, contemplating cubing this. But uh, can't decide that he should. Decides that he will. Dana takes. We play on. Five two. Not at all what Kid had in mind. Dan doesn't have much flexibility in bringing all these guys home off the mid, but. All right, Edward Ani said Kit has a actual Wikipedia page. This is something, uh, do we all strive for such? Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Actually, I have to count here. That's a pain in the ass. Kit's, uh, he's trying to decide. He wants to know what the count is. Should he maybe make a jailbreak here with one of those rear checkers and decides against it? He's thinking about all this wastage. <laughs> You know, will excuse my uh, occasional snacking here. The life of a single commentator over a long match is not an easy one. Do you want to say anything? No. Nah. No? Aaron Faust sitting at the front row here. A seat. The Euchre seat. The greatest show on earth. <laughs> So, uh, all the decisions so far has been, for the most part, on uh, Kit's side of the table. He's gone through a couple of minutes already, and Dana's hardly, hardly broke the clock. Sixty-five, eighty-one, ninety-nine, one hundred four, eight, eleven, fifteen for white. Nine crossovers too. So. Nine 
Ah, mais bon. Mm -hmm. Make the three, maybe. Move to the bar. So the four is, moves a lot of freight. That's good. Kit's going to have five crossovers remaining to Dana's nine to get in board. Well, Dana's uh, rolling some nice numbers himself. It's actually pretty close. It's all on those four, five, six points. Dana's got uh, more outside, but he's got he's deeper inside as well. Okay, Aaron Faust in the building. See if Dana can bring you this one. You won uh, last year sometime. You won the intermediate. Now you're playing up in just the open. Just before huh? COVID. Yeah, just before COVID hit. Intermediate champ. Oh, to 20. I don't know if you claim it, but you you taught Ray everything you know. Everything Ray knows. Two six from the bar was mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ray showed me a few things over the years. I am. Dana's going to need some help here, and that is a good start That's, uh, uh, <laughs> on demand. Mm-hmm. Got us a oh, Whoa, and uh, that's it's a good, back to uh, being down again. A good return, like pouring a birdie putt on top yeah, of them. Another birdie getting pretty putt. close. It's real close. Yeah, that was a big six. Oh, he gets two here as well. Huh? Who, he might start to think guys, about man? it. He might. Oh, it's still feeling. I don't know. Kit could have had one there, but who are these guys rolling like this? Uh oh, that's a double, double that's miss. That's a direct miss. Thank you. Kit's still not doubling. Oh, do, oh, I see. The cube's already in play, Bill. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me know anytime. Okay. He likely will have a shake at it. Only down one. Huh? Fours, fives, and sixes. Boom. That ain't going to work. That hurts. That'll do it. Hmm. Kit kept up. Dana rolled doubles. Kit rolled doubles. Yeah. So, uh, 2 0 Kit. Kit. Did he finish his birthday cake over there? No. Classic. What you need? You're in the 20 section. That's what store? Oh, it's just a little. Oh, the one in here. Yeah, that'd be good. Thank you. Those Actually, it's a, store pretty close it's a Pepsi. Uh, Session here, but I'll drink that, you know. The second choice is Pepsi for Bill Riles. Big Coke okay. fan. Okay, look here. Kit done got another early got advantage. Another quickie. Dana says no, thank you. We'll move on. Three zero Be down. Three zeros. Three zero. Quite adequate. I don't want it any worse. Than that. No problem. He's happy. It destroyed me in the first round. Uh, yeah. Never a shot. 
Nice, never, nice, never uh, a shot. nice draw you got. He had an easy. He had it easy. Uh, never a sweat. So far, not much of a sweat in this one either. <laughs> so, um, you're saying you're just as good as Dana so far? Pretty much. Nah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. Uh, Dana, I have always appreciated Dana's game. He is very strong. I'll take him. I'll take any Dana day. about almost anybody. <laughs> any, any day of the week. You know, and he's been playing great. He in Texas, he uh, he lost in the finals of the UBC tournament to Ryan Rubello. He won the uh, Masters, okay. which in uh, in Texas we had forty eight in the Masters. In the Masters, forty eight. Uh -huh. That's a lot. They only had sixteen here. Yeah, we had forty eight. Yours is cheaper. Uh, marginally Yours is six. Right. Yeah, instead of a grand, it was six. Yeah. 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 And price point's a pretty big determining factor there, probably. But it's still a factor of three. That's a pretty good factor. <laughs> well, you know I've always appreciated the Texas tournament. One of the best. One of the best. We've been fortunate. A lot of support. A lot of good people. Yeah, so he's gonna okay. clean it up a little, right? Make a couple points, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And he has the forward anchor, so he's he's kind of in the <laughs> in the game for the long yeah. haul. Four point. Yeah. Didn't really like to do that, but he didn't like his alternatives either. Instead of threes, make the five point. You know, it's funny, a lot of these guys, and I play too quickly, but, I mean, these elite players like Dana, Kit, both, and others, I mean, they see all the possibilities that we see right out of the gate. Or take their time. But they take their time and 100% uh, agree. make sure they're not overlooking any of them yeah. and to kind of evaluate all of them in a comparative basis. Yeah. Uh, it's a I good mean, point. They, they see them just as soon as we do. But, as fast uh, as everyone react, else. We react more. We quickly. do it. Yeah, and they think about it, then do it. Right, just, just to make, make sure. sure they don't overlook something. Uh, totally agree. It's exactly when I played kids. Exactly what he did on every roll. Yeah, I knew he was going to make that. But he took his time, just yeah. to make sure he's getting it right. Doesn't miss anything, which we all do. We all do. All miss. You know, and and another thing, and and you know, I try to address. The wide range of people that might be viewing these things, you know. Sure. Another thing that uh, a lot of people do, and that you'll see the elite players uh, differentiate themselves, like with doublets, they'll typically play checkers individually, one by one, one by one, rather than playing them as pairs. So they know. You, yeah, because sometimes if you're if you're thinking playing them in pairs. Yeah, you're overlooking some of the permutations that uh, might be available to you. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do the same thing when I roll like a six five. I don't just look at it as six five. I I say, hey, this is a five six as well. Yeah, exactly. And, and, that, and you might easy, see a play easy to do sometimes. Yeah, to, and to overlook in that. You always regard. do six five six five. You might miss the the five, five six six. Yeah. That's much better. And Dana has found himself behind a five prime here. But Kit's stripped all the way around. So he's... Uh... And this... Got to...
are you trying to do? Turn Close it off? It. I'll be right back. Okay, no sweat. Okay, so we got kind of a standoff of uh, strip points here. Buying for the open is uh, 500 bucks, I believe. I've got one of the brochures right here. Yeah, it's 500 buck entry. It's 250 re entry where you lose your first round. You could rebuy and start over for 250. I think they had 55, uh, 55 in the main and 27 in rebuys, so 82 entrants in that regard. You can, and that's what, 55 times 5 is 27, 5, uh, 27, 6, so about a $30,000 prize pool. Okay. Kids kind of in a. Ooh, that hurts. Nice wasted double six. <laughs> it's good news, bad news. One, you don't have to uh, perhaps leave a blot over here with a five and a half point board by Dan, but you don't get the benefit of that double six either. Four one, kind of an ugly roll. Can't make the one point that uh, he needed to. Now Dana, two three is not his best. What does he do? Maybe he makes the three and takes one of those to uh, to the mid. Makes it easier to perhaps clear one next roll. Then Kit does have a blot in his home board and only a four point board. So that's, uh, I'd be thinking that. Dana's counting. But uh, what's he got? 56 and 39, 95 for white. It's got 33, 30, 69, 73, 77, 80. So, uh, is behind. He's going to have to play like this. Hopes Kit rolls a 6x. He doesn't. And he make that point, make that. Now Dana's uh, Yeah, that was interesting uh, match, Tim. Uh, Dana was up 13-4. They got it back. That's Kit's second set of sixes in this position. Uh, three one Dana, but uh, Dana was up thirteen four. John gets it back thirteen ten. Looks like John is going to win a gammon two cube to go up fourteen thirteen. Has a five point board with the fours open and a blot in Dana's home board. Dana rolls double fours from the bar, which brings them both in against the five point board and points on uh, John's blot and Dana's home board, and he brings it home and wins. 15-10, so it was just one of the massive super jokers that uh, we'll see this weekend. Okay, Kit's way we're heading to the race, takes this, and Dana, direct miss. Can't give the shot. Now, does Kit send this back? Very possibly. 
well ahead. Even if he were to not be able to clear it and gets hit, Dana has only a four-point board. So what's our count here? 24, 48, 74 for White. 16, 17, 49, 59, 75, 75, 74. Doesn't work too well, kid. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Dana's thinking the same thing. Like, what in the hell is going on here? Misses a double shot twice. Kit said, "I've seen enough of this." You missed the exciting part. He always does. Why? He doubled you and missed. Uh huh. Twice. Twice. Oh, wow, this was the craziest sequence you've ever seen. Kit had a two on the eighteen. <laughs> Rolled double six twice and double five once. Couldn't play any of them. Oh, I know that. But I told you the other day. Well, I had to go up the room. Dana lets it go. I was once told that a man that does not want to hit does not want to win. Is it 28 hitting numbers? Both times. Yeah. Thank you. Still maybe wasn't a double. Okay. So, uh, 5 0 hit. Not somebody you want to spot a lot of points to. So Dana's going to uh, try to reverse this train. There we go. Dueling six fives. Brings us back to an even position. It runs a six two. Set of fives going to the three. 12 pip lead. Dana now is four. Dana's got number of hitters, but he doesn't do it. So he's going to slide to five and go to the nine. No, he's playing two down. Five, two, two down for Kit. I'm four as a hitter. Four, one twenty eight, two fifty six, five twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. four so Kit's gonna play it this way Dana sends it he's got a raising advantage probably can clear that last checker maybe clean up the uh, the blots Kit's got one back crap back uh, um, lets it go five one hit uh, I didn't think it did it was just double checking. Mm -hmm. 
six five. That's a a runner. Probably go to the mid. Could go to the eleven, but with the back checker split, gives that many more returns. But there he goes. We're gonna have to send you back to grade school. What? I thought we were gonna have to send you back to grade school. And there he gets hit. The other One of those returns. No, I was probably yeah, six five. Yeah. Oh, I think they're pretty close. I think so too. In that, huh? In that particular one, it was close. Yeah. Usually it's not. Usually it's not. No, the fact that you split and you know, all the factors we know about. Or two, pointing. Three six, so he's going to come out with one of those. Don't want to add any more blots to the equation. Dana may uh, get a frisky perspective here. It's with fours and fives. I wouldn't uh, be at all surprised to see him send this. If he sent the last one, I think he'll send this one. Dane is counting. Well, he kind of set his fingers down in his lap. He probably uh, has some method of keeping uh, track of the first number he counts while he counts the second. Well, we try a Tim, and and I'm uh, I've got it comparatively easy. Tar does all this production work, and uh, the setup is just amazing. So uh, she's kind of behind the scenes. Probably has a more difficult job than I do. Okay, Kit says I'm going to play this. Again, we weren't terribly surprised that Dana sent sent it. And now he's going to be uh, full speed ahead. Again, a poor roll. Now, this hit play to the 7 or play to the 18. Eighteen, it is. Now Dana, full full blitz mode. Could put them both up. Which is the definition of a blitz. And three brings them both in, and one of them hitting. So that was as good as he could do, pretty much. 5-2 by Dana. Makes that. So this is a bit of a hitting exchange in progress. 3-1. He's going to cover and hit. Dana would like to hit and make that bar point. Certainly just can't quite do it. That's what I was thinking. Are you want B or C right now? I don't know. 4-1, he can uh, enter and hit. Gives Dana that uh, chance to work on the uh, the bar again. Five, four. Boy, this hitting exchange is... Uh, Fairly extended in this particular game. At some point, one of them is going to have to call it off and start uh, trying to do something constructive uh, structure-wise, but it's not going to be Dana on this roll. 3-5. It's going to be Kit here. Make that. Now his choice of threes. Probably going to be the 10 because he doesn't want to, to go deeper. 
six three. Now Dana, it's got several options, but uh, I don't know the temptation. I'd be really seriously tempted to make the bar here, but he can't. He can't do this and make the bar. He's gonna lift. O'Hagan walking around. Are they on break or did that match finish quickly? Uh, where were you? Justifying your last play. Hey. doesn't work, so I'll try diversification. Works much better. <laughs> Still trying to each of them seize the advantage, maybe get a dance out of one or the other at some point. But nobody has uh, accommodated the other. It's just... Uh, only an extended hitting campaign by both. I knew this was going to be an 80 roll game, and I probably wouldn't have doubled <laughs> roll four. That's the fifth time I've done that in two days. Picking up on some scores and otherwise here. <clears throat> and this is uh, an interesting extended. Uh, it just, you know, most games after three or four or five rolls, they kind of settle into, uh, you know, one of many patterns we might see in backgammon, but this one is just uh, having difficulty settling into one of the one of the grooves. Rain Man, they they do have a uh, a tournament in Michigan. It's in Novi, which is a suburb of uh, Detroit, and it occurs over July Fourth weekend each year. You can uh, check into that. Uh, go to Flint FlintBG dot com or flintbg.org is uh, Carol Joy Cole's uh, website, and she's the director of the uh, Novi tournament. But it's 4th of July weekend every year. has been going on for 40 years. One of the larger tournaments in the United States. I think the largest nowadays are, uh, this year probably, New York was... Uh, New York and Texas are the biggest flints not far behind.
Okay, still uh still an interesting game here. Set of fives, uh, so that's gonna I think that's the second one in three or four rolls there for Kit. So that's gonna move a lot of freight and uh, give some better definition to this particular game. Obviously, the checker on the ace, the 24, from Kit's perspective, doesn't, can't move. But he played one to make the point. He, I guess, I think he has three left, and there they are. It goes to the eight. Okay. Dana'd like to make that three point, and he does. Then it's a matter of which two he plays beyond that. Eight, six, it is. Dana's turned. That's a nice shake. Double nickels putting two in the air, making a four point board. Probably uh, adding some uh, serious credibility to that two cube he had sent earlier. So Dana could uh, worry to be fortunate. Could bring this match back to even. Kit with the forward anchor. Uh, not as likely that Dana might uh, gain him than were it uh, a deeper anchor or not an anchor. Dana needs to uh, settle for pest. Huh? And play with one blot. Couldn't dupe anything. It is a lot of fun, Rain Man, and uh, if you're in Michigan, uh, the Michigan Summer Championships, which is the actual title, I guess, of the Nova Tournament, is uh, one of the biggest and uh, you know best attended and longest standing. A lot of fun, so uh, check them out. Ooh, pardon me. Hey, Dana can hit and move on. So now... Contemplating his options, he could put them both on a six, but that's ugly, inflexible. He wants to try to, you know, minimize the shots, but maintain a fair amount of flexibility as well. This place seems to have provided him that opportunity. It's four. Now only the five deuce hits him doesn't so he hopes to clean it up here 
That won't work. Gonna take that in, I would think, all the way. Hmm. Pardon me. Oh, okay. Okay, so Dana needs to get this checker home, and he can't. So if the kid can roll a three, it's going to swing this particular game. He cannot. So now he's going to play the nine and the seven, I suspect. Dana gets that, uh, that checker home, starts bearing off. Must have been meant to be a 6-4. He cocked a 6-4 and then uh, re-rolled a 6-4. Five three is going to clear it, so he should be able just to bring home a two-pointer here. Kit should be able to clear this or save this. I heard that term last night, uh, Tim. I guess uh, Steve Sachs was talking about how's the misses. Well, that's uh, that was cute. Okay. This one I don't know. In twenty forty. In a game of twenty forty as well. Yeah, but they play all the time. Because you can be a busy play something for us. Trying to figure out which ace to play. And Danny could roll two sets and make this interesting. Didn't get the first, so he still a minimum of two rolls. Dana plays in. Okay. Five doublets to get him off. Does Kit save the G? He does. So it's 5-3 uh, and looks like uh, they're going to take a little break here. Tremendous amount of strategy, Rain Man, and what you might, uh, beyond watching this, you know, what's really become prominent in backgammon is the use of. Uh, computer programs to study, analyze, play against, whatever. The most widely popular by far is a program called Extreme Gammon. Um, relatively inexpensive. I think retail, you can buy it for 50 bucks online. <clears throat> if you remember USB Jeff or some of their organizations, you can get it for 40 or thereabouts, a bit of a discounted price. But that is um, a requisite, almost, to a serious backgammon player to um, study and analyze positions, to analyze matches in their entirety, to, um, you know, to even play against. And it's interesting, uh, you know, a lot of people, and, and it's a mistake, I think, a lot of people... When they play against XG, which is what X, uh, Extreme Game is called, XG, some people will play against XG. They play against it with it cranked up all the way, so it's playing absolutely perfectly. Well, you're never going to play a human that plays that well. So you can develop some bad habits by uh, 
you know, every every cube XG, XG's ever sent you cranked up high is a take because they're going to be perfectly efficient cubes. So they will almost, without exception, always be a take. And that kind of, you know, people develop the habit of, you know, every double's a take according to XG. Well, it is if it's a perfectly timed cube, but you're not getting perfectly timed cubes from human opponents. So you have to uh, recognize uh, some of the differences and limitations and what have you of, of what you're doing. And um, so scale it back somewhat. You know, you can set the level of play or the level that XG plays, and you might set it to something more uh, approximating a, a human level as opposed to... Uh, you know the the level of perfection that can be achieved uh, on the program okay so here we are we are post crawford we're taking a look in on the maze petrosian alfredo unis match while uh kit and dana take a break here 1411 post crawford for maze petrosian and in pretty good shape here, if he can roll a three or a five and get out, there's the five, but doesn't have a two. He has to break. Unis needs a five. Unis does not get a five, but he can hit the checker on the, on the bar back here, a dance, and this could go south real quickly. Yep, there's the five point. Boom, uh, two, four. That uh, that helps. Four two, he's gonna hit. They're both playing like they got uh, planes to catch. Six five, boom. Yeah, it's like they're. Hearing that final boarding, flight 2386. Can't play fast enough. And I'll assure you, uh, some people, and I'm one of them, I'm probably as guilty as many, play fast, play too fast probably, but I will guarantee you you slow down and look at things a little bit closer make sure you're not overlooking things make sure you've looked at all the various permutations you're going to play better okay okay so here we are five three kit 15 point matches are real endurance contests. It's a grind. Again, they're probably looking at two and a half, three hour match here. I four and that circumstance is rather awkward. Dana finds that play gets hit. Never the one you expect to get hit. It's always by the trailer or the some awkward position. I'm gonna make the deuce. Doesn't like that have a point that deep, but kinda developed that way. Now he's gonna make two points, putting two in the air. And uh, Dana very well may be looking at a cube on the next roll. There it comes. Dan is taking this. Doesn't necessarily like it, but you always don't have to like it. You just have to do it. Let's it go, though. 
six three. You know, and I, and I thought this would have, if you happen to watch Ray Fogerlund's live stream lecture last night, that was worth the price of admission, which was zero. But uh, you know, among the many things he he, he you know threw a few axioms out, he, he made some good points, and we could all learn something from it. Plus, Ray's extremely entertaining in his presentation, but. You know, one thing that was in line with some of the things he said last night is an adage that I use sometimes with uh, people perhaps I'm uh, giving some lessons to or helping them in some one fashion or another is, uh, you know, with backgammon, like many games, uh, you can't be afraid to lose, but also you can't be afraid to win. You know, there are, there are risks that have to be taken on occasionally. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Again, don't let fear paralyze you to the point that you, you know, you're afraid, you're afraid to lose. But by the same token, don't let it paralyze you where you're afraid to, you know, to make the moves and take the opportunities to enhance your opportunities to win. Rain Man, the, the Dublin Cube actually introduces incredible levels of complexity in, to, the, to the game. It's great for the game, but it's, um, you know, it's just, uh, I see you're uh, prepared for your streamed match tonight with the, the bright shirt, you know. I told, I told people that uh, you and uh, who are you playing, Brandon, are going to be on the stream tonight, and that I would suggest they wear shades. You know, <laughs> I, I would suggest they wear shades. You know, to. I changed it. Hasn't been very lucky to me. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I wear an equally bright one. Okay, so a dance, so Dana trailing, but doesn't quite have it yet, but he he's, has the advantage. Oh, really? Okay, there's Kit. Now, what does he do with all these twos? He entered. He can uh, step up to have the forward anchor, which is probably what he's going to do, and then play to the 11 point. He could make the four point, but I think at this juncture, the, um, the forward anchor may be more important with Dana already having uh, a number of builders Bearing on that four point kit just uses all three of them to to make the forward anchor. Set of fours. Oh really? Yeah. Now, are you still president of the UKBGF? Okay. I was mentioning that. I was mentioning that last night, and I wasn't certain. Huh? No, I'm. I'm up to four now. Ah, okay. Well, you, uh, we'll clean it up. you, you, uh, phobic there or something? I don't know. Took a room. Yeah. 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 Sure, it'll do it. 
I just want to. I just want to make sure you're making yourself comfortable. You know. One more before dinner on the other one. Is it over? Okay, Dana's sending that kit. Had already evaluated and scoops it right up. Ooh, set of fives. That's smart. Pretty good is right. Hits two, makes another point. No, he doesn't. And that's three to there, so he only had one more. Okay, four one. So uh, six four. So he's going to cover the, make the deuce point, find the four. He could make the deuce point and find the six, but I think it's going to be this. Yeah. Aces. So now Dana would like to make that three point. Boom. Makes that three point. I think you're going to find anything better than that, Dan. No way you're finding something better than that. His only exposure is double four. So, um, oh, so close. Okay, so Dana's got to get these boys home, so he's going to the five and the deuce here. He, he, can't, he can't pay now and leave two blots. Four, three. He's going to go five and two. Don't be tempted to leave two blots out there. Okay. So now Kit needs to do something constructive over there on his home board. And that's uh, that would come into that category. 5-1, Dana can't, yeah, he would leave one blot, but he, 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 he hasn't rolled anything yet that leaves anything other than two blots. Did they finish? Okay, so this time Dana can roll. Can escape one. Interesting. Dukes the fours and threes, but two blocks might be a bit much here. It has 20 numbers, and the other way it's only, was it, nines? Six, three, five, five. It's 16 numbers, 16 numbers the other way. Oh, yeah, threes, yeah. So uh, four less numbers just to take that on into the deuce. 13 if he uh, goes to the deuce, and 20 if he doesn't. Okay, on stream two, Alfredo Unis come from way down to uh, to beat Mays Petrosian. So give me in here. Give me, he faded it. Did he turn me on? I turned you on, man. Oh, thanks, Bill. You're good at that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ted. Hey, both my hands Look at this. He, he table, plays man. it big here with the uh, seven and eight slot and gets away. Cleans, okay, clean, cool. clean. Look at him. That'd Look at him go. If it was and Gammon is on the I'll table again after that. <laughs> okay, so... Dana made the big play, got away with the big play, and uh, now Kit's going to be fighting to uh, save a G here. Gives him the 20 shots to 13 shots, gets away with it, and here we are. Oh, it was 16 shots. 20 16, to 16. 16 and 20. That was 13 and 20. No. 16 and 20, yes. Yeah, he had to. Not that bad of a risk there. Uh, and then you see where we're at. Oh, no. He, of course, finds the ace. Wow. After all his Kid hard work, oh my oh, goodness, baby! And he plays perfect, perfect. 
and here we are That's back on the bar. Right? That's why we wow. love the game. <laughs> Do everything right. Everything right. And and it's wrong. <laughs> Get it wrong. <laughs> Hate life now. Wow. What a swing that was on the... Whew. He's on his way to being in the lead. Now he's looking down the barrel now, of an 8-3. Now he's looking down the 8-3 barrel, as you say. And this, I mean, this is going to be interesting. 3-1. I'm kid. I'm, I don't know. This is attack. Send it, and I'd be attack. tempted oh. to send it, but. Is, uh, does anybody that get there? That guy that gets reaches. there from way back. And then go to the, maybe go to the five. Don't give him any double hitters. Five seems right. Yeah. And you've got all the outfield Cover. control coverage. Ace four. So mm, now, now I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Three whip. has got what? Three off, four off? Just three, I think. Yeah. Three. Five, 11, 12. Three off. There's that. Might have might have got a uh, double take there, but Kit chooses to wait. Now, now he might get a I'm pass. I, I, I would have sent it on the last one. I think. I, I think I agree with you, but I'm definitely sending it here. Kit waited, and Dana has checkers off, so there's no G, right? No so gammon. Just... No, no free rolls here. There we go. There it is. Dana, Dana looks Dana like a pass. Score yep. that one. Score that and be happy. That's a big swing. Big that's, swing that's four on point the shot. Swing, a right? huge swing, swing on the shot. Yep. Or maybe even a six point swing. Could have been. Could Dana, have was looking, Dana was looking. Dana was looking at a gammon. Two, so looking at a gammon. Six point swing. That's huge. Huge. And Dana. Dana might be tilted now. Looks a little upset, but. He'll grab his composure. I, I like that. That's pretty deep, Tim. I, I like that quote. How do you like this? Luck is just a short-term glimpse of probability's mm -hmm. never-ending quest right? to reach expected outcomes. Wow. That's deep, man. I mean, if you're going to put a definition on it, there it is. <laughs> We're in. We're in, man. Come on in, Ray Fogarty. said I should quit using these uh, amateur commentators like yourself and and bring him in you know step up to the guy with a voice made for radio hey you know what <laughs> this is a big man says dana nazarian and kent woolsey because the winner gets to play me oh ho, ho. Right? <laughs> i hope i get the comment on that one yeah, and that might not be till tomorrow you know that no it is the i think that Later match tonight Playing no, play the Masters tonight. Dana's the playing Masters in the Masters. Tonight. No, Dana and I both lost oh, last night. Both lost, so it, it would could be tonight, tonight then. Probably but, tonight. But ideally, the Masters. Ideally, the regular aren't tonight. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Masters are tonight. That's a money round match, um, and uh, oh, I think it's saying that ten to mor ten o'clock tomorrow morning. Ten a.m. Saturday is yeah. the match after that. Ah. Okay. What's oh, so? Who's so winning then? Tonight. Oh, kids up eight just to three. A, oh, you just, just missed a huge, doozy. <laughs> huge bad swing for Dana. Look Big like swing. Win four and he loses two. Big swing on his way to a seven to six lead. Yeah, two it's, to clear. It's, that's rolled, a lot of equity to swing instead. And Kit rolls an ace. And oh man, it was it was Ooh. a big swing. Yeah, I never do that. Nah, no one does those. <laughs> But uh, we've seen and we know Dana is a grinder. Oh, my he God. Is. He's been grinding. I bet he's got less time on his clock. Right now he's grinding his teeth after that last yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> he's grinding up some herbs yeah. to put on his voodoo doll. Something. Now, how about this, Ray? Somebody. Okay. We'll blow Ray's mind with his deep. I don't know if Ray's ready for that, but I think you should see what he says. Hey, wait. Yeah, I said, luck is just a short-term glimpse of probability's never-ending quest to reach expected outcomes. What, what do you think about that? I think Art Benjamin probably wrote that somewhere. <laughs> That's, that could be a mathematician quote. Uh, it easily could be. <laughs> Oh, 
He doesn't go to the five there. I thought maybe another builder would help, but he steps up for a double shot. And here he is, ready to fire away. Might be a good time for a cube. You got to look You're down, down eight to walk, three. You know? If you if you got to have a if, good excuse, not, I, I think I'm shipping one. this one, and he does not. He could pick up two, and he will. Okay. Think I think I'm firing away there with the cube. But that was some hell of a discipline by Dana not sending it there. Yeah, interesting. No cube, I thought, but. But oh. here it comes. And then he gets hit on the bar, then shit. On the bar or not. Hey, Dana just said to Kit, hey, do you like apples? And Kit said, yeah. And Dana asked him, how do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> I think he he uh, may have taken the last one. Well, he may take this one. He but. might take this one, but I see him smiling. And my, my read is he's passing. He fixed his biggest. He fixed Dana's biggest problem, which was the blot on the ace point. He True. Makes, uh, yep. I, I don't doubt that he may pass this, but he's also he hates to pass with. Dana What's there. Dana They're saying to the camera? On the camera, saying something. They're talking to the camera. We can't hear you, Dana. Can hear the the viewers can hear the. Oh, the viewers can hear Dana. Oh. Yeah. Wonder what he said there. Well, you know, uh, what Ray's saying. Kent really likes to have an ongoing, you know, dialogue with his opponents. He has a lot of fun. He he just enjoys the game, and he doesn't it's seem a, to be. Uh, 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 as predicted. Oh, he hates as to predicted. let one go like this with Dana in the air. Yeah. In the on the bar, they're on both the on the bar. Yes, but. I'm playing the winner of this one. Apparently. I think it was a good pass. I think Dana might have got a take on the roll earlier, too, but who knows? Uh, Y'all probably recognize and know I'm joined here on my left. Kind of reverse on the image. On my left is uh, Mr. Ray Fogerland, and on my right, Aaron Faust, the gentleman who taught Ray everything he knows. That's According, not true. That's what Aaron told me. Not that's true. Right? Okay. Not well, true. Now, you know, you got to get some dark hair at the mic sometimes. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> we brought the young kid in. <laughs> hey, one thing I want to tell you guys, a little follow-up on the seminar last night. And, you know, I find it, it gives me a nice warm and fuzzy feeling if somebody else learned something from one of my lectures. But the main deal is for me... To learn not to make some of the mistakes that I regularly make. And I've found myself twice in this tournament taking cubes. Just Out because, of the zone? Just because takers are hard to beat. And I beat the last opponent. Oh, we'll see if we got a take here, Ray. Yeah, but uh, you can still vouch for me how bad of the cubes I was taking. I took everything. I had two on the roof. And I took it because of the position I showed last night. Is Which was no double with two guys on the roof. Yeah, I'm still alive. Okay, well, look, what, what is going on here? Oh, Dana, Dana whipped it again. Dana whipped it again early. Kit says, no, thank you. Did he pass already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he's got three on no, the No, that's a here. big this pass. Seems pretty good. Yeah. That, yeah, that's not, he's got three on the ace. That's horrible. Yeah. And he's going to get Please take that smacked. versus me, anybody. Uh, <laughs> anyone okay so here we go we're off and running again slots with the ace Two ahead one, right? that's when you're ahead yeah i wouldn't yeah we'll i don't think you head. you don't slot the five when you're ahead you break uh 24 23 now kit might be one of the only few guys that thinks he can gain something by complicating the position against dana i would disagree but <laughs> But Dana's. Kit's not real arrogant. He um, look at this. He told me he said there's just an awful lot of guys playing better than he is, and he feels like he's up on the game still because he spends a fair amount of time studying it. But that there's just too many other good players out there. Double fours. Dana probably gonna. Um, Gonna be We're in a little game trouble game. here, maybe down in the race. Okay, okay. Kip most likely running with these. Not much else looks Tara very good. Is telling me we're setting up a a match for uh, stream two. We've got a fighters bracket match between Jonas Seawald and Mays Petrosian. 
So just the timing works out such that that's a, we have an available table and that's the uh, best available match. And uh, that'll be a fun match, Mays and Jonas Seawald. So you, you, you brutalized my buddy Stubby from Houston here? Yeah, I took some questionable cubes, but uh, I had two in the air on one of them and only took it because of my position that I showed last night. That you didn't want one, to make the same mistake Joe yeah, so or I, Matt made. Yeah, so huh? I made myself take it, and I was ahead eight to nothing at the time, and I, I he hit two checkers loose off the ace point, and I fanned with double sixes on a one-point board, and I would have brought, probably routinely passed that during the last two years. But I took it because of this. And then, uh, you know, I got lucky and won the game. Okay. So you tell me, you play the winner of this match? Yeah. Ray plays the winner of this match. In the money round, yeah, well, it'll be money round. One thing I can tell you was, well, actually, neither one of them really hedges much. Uh, Kit might, but Dana won't. He hates hedging. He likes having something on it. He, he seems to, and he also tells me that uh, he likes the burn factor when he beats somebody. He likes the what? Burn. The burn factor. When he beats you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a total combatant. I mean, he's. Well, you probably get a little. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't mind. When you beat him. Too. I don't mind winning one bit. <laughs> Tim, the the stream two matches are on YouTube. They are on the Ace Point Backgammon YouTube channel, which is Tar and my channel, and uh, so they're the same thing. They're archived on uh, on YouTube on the Ace Point channel, as these oh, yeah, matches are that. archived on the uh, Backgammon Galaxy channel. So they're all available. Uh, henceforth or henceforward something they're always available uh oh all right who's in this race bill did you count it yet i haven't counted it yet i think uh, kit is ahead it it's like even it. there it's even on outside yeah and they, uh, yeah even on the outside and is down 12, 17, minus 8, 9, 10. He was down about 7, I guess. Now, a lot of uh, Tim, I mean, if you Oh, want this to... is going to tighten up the race quite a bit, Bill. Yeah. Tim, if you want to see content, you can go to... I our, would go to the two-point. Our ace point. Two-point, uh, two-point, two-point. Our ace point back, I mean, YouTube channel. Like, uh, from our tournament in Texas, which was in February, Super Bowl weekend... Uh, we ran four streams, four live continuous streams. Next year we're doing five, but we ran four this year and we streamed, I forget the exact number, but over five days we streamed 165 matches. 165 <laughs> matches. How many of them did you comment on? I didn't, none in Texas. Oh. Nick was the commentator in Texas. I was the director. So he was the marathon man, yeah. Yeah, he was man. Nick, Nick, he can talk all day long, on, yeah, uh, doing commentary and does. Yes, he does. He does a fine job too. Hey, out there, Nick. I don't know where Nick is. I don't know if he's doing some commentary. I guess remote he... from uh, you know that Budba tournament's going on this weekend. Okay. Merit uh, artist tournament merit in uh, Budva Budva Montenegro. Okay, Petco's goes there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a good place for Petco. Stay away from the U.S. Open, pal. <laughs> I I just realized that uh, that this is the U.S. Open, and it's been a while since I won one. Have you won one in the past? Yes. Here. Yes. Oh, I think it was 2018 or something for a while there. I had to stop the streak of Asians winning it because Carol Joy Cole won it and Ted, she won it twice. I think 
Didn't that, did Akiko and Mochi and some of them win it on occasion? Uh uh. Uh, they don't get to the U.S. Open very often, but Kel Jack Cole won and Ted some of the Chi. Vegas tournaments. Now, yeah, might have been the uh, Las Vegas Open. Well, right? Mochi played me in the finals in one of those events, and uh, it took him five and a half hours, but he beat me. Well, I remember <laughs> you go back twenty years. I remember Mochi playing in the final, and it took eight hours. Well, no clocks. and then and it ruins Man. the whole thing for the spectators. In in our match, someone would walk up and stand there, and Mochi be thinking about the move, and then that person would leave before Mochi made a move. Yeah, you know? and uh, doesn't endear people to the game. And, and those uh, Tim the uh, Ace Point uh, Texas tournament. Of course, that was our own tournament, our own streaming and production. Nick Blazer doing a commentary, but they uh, are this same style and superb quality of stream. So uh, it's that was interesting. Ace by Dana there. He can't slotted the three points. What is this? Them, is six damn near even, and it Ray. Right? Yeah, it really is. They're they're not counting it, so it must be pretty close. Cool. So Dana's a checker up. Dana resisted the urge to send it, even though he was down eight to five. But uh, he's just waiting. You know, I'm sure he's just waiting for the. Even after the double sixes, he had. You know. Well, it's almost. It a, looks like Kit's it's a ahead now. Hoss up here. Uh oh, he was. He's going to give up a little now because Dana's likely going to get more than four pips out of this shake. Yeah, that's considerably. More. Yeah, well, that was a nice shake. It okay, might be some now, count now, now. look at this. Eight checkers two versus pips eight back. checkers. Dana's two checkers, two pips down. All right. So he just fires. Not wasting time on stuff. And look okay, at that. So now we're set. Hits. Boy, this is, this is close to, he's one down. Yeah, he's only one down. But that's more of a take than it is a double. Okay, now where are we? Look at this. Well, Dana's going to miss with fives, and Kit's going to bear off with them. So, looks like Dana's going to get one in here at the end, maybe. All right, four jackers versus four checkers, and Kit's up four pips. No, he's up two pips. Dana shakes. This is a Look pretty good out. number. That's pretty good. Now, if Kit doesn't sixes, get sixes double sixes only. or better, he's going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, I hate it when I don't get double sixes. <laughs> this jacket's too warm. I gotta take it off. What happened to Aaron? I don't know. He's Aaron's like a toddler. He's got an attention span of a nanosecond. Mm. <laughs> If that. All right. I, I love Aaron, though. Played a lot with him in the Vegas club. Did that other match he, start yet? Did he's I, high energy. Okay, so on stream two, which is the Ace Point YouTube channel, we have a fighter's bracket match. or They call it, they're not calling it fighter's bracket here. One loss bracket. I think Rory's actually calling it a, no, uh, okay. second chance bracket. It gets a strong start. He's but anyway, uh, Mace Petrosian and uh, Jonah Seawald are playing on stream two. Oh, Kid's really playing good this game, Bill. He rolled double sixes and followed it up with double fives. <laughs> After he rolled an initial well, six you one. Seen one of the earlier games. Get had two checkers on the eighteen point over here. Everything else around. Dana had the. 12 and 13, right? It rolled double sixes, double sixes, double fives. Never moved a pip. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. He, he moved zero and three shakes. That's a yeah, pretty with, low with, average. With 68 pips available to him, <laughs> and he can't move a single pip. All right. 
Oh, should Dana take this? After six one, double sixes, double fives, not too many positions are a take, I don't think. Dana's down. Is, but Dana's a taker. You know, it's hard to beat takers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got to temper your enthusiasm in some positions, Bill. <laughs> your optimism. <laughs> <laughs> One must play with a semblance of fear in backgammon. Well, Kit could leave a lot, shot with a lot of numbers yeah, he right doesn't now. Have, he's got a lot of bloody numbers here. But he could also he's got some spank killers. him. Yeah, he's he could spank killers. him pretty bad. I don't know. Is it a take? I, I'm taking, personally. But, you you uh, are? I am. All right. What uh, are you doing? Well... I just got done doing a lecture saying takers are hard to beat, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you might not. You don't yeah, have to like with it, a but big you might. Gap have. in the two numbers is going to block. <laughs> well, not not if it's four one and right, whatever. Yeah, Dana, go. let it go. He now, didn't like I will that. certainly defer to Dana's decision because Dana is one of the best. Oh man, he's. He's a smart man. You know, okay. I can't tell. I mean, I, I should have a rooting interest in here, but I'm real good friends with Dana. And I have a lot of fun playing with Kit. We trash talk a lot. So, like, if you guys... Maybe we ought to turn up the turn table up mics. The, turn up the volume, yeah, because we'll be talking trash. <laughs> <laughs> and Dana all talks in trash, too. I mean, he's from Boston. Uh-oh, oh, oh. Is this too good? Dana, you, this is one thing Dana does more than anybody else. He rolls on. And well, you see him, he shook his head. He was hoping for something better than that on that roll. No, he didn't. You, you must have been seeing things. Dana never changes his expression. Oh, he did. He was, no, he he was he sitting didn't. there shaking his head on All that it was one. was a six. That's no big deal if you miss a six. Now, see, here you go. You can wait, and then you, you first Oop. you... No way, baby. You try to jam a gammon down the guy's throat, and if it doesn't work, then you double them out later. You were talking about that last night. I was yeah. thinking about you. You Have you ever had a dog, worming dogs? The same thing. You got to hold them, <laughs> stick it down their throat. Yeah. Those little weenie dogs. All right. Seven to nine. You can just put peanut butter on the pill. We like we wrap his uh, pills. We wrap Geddes's pills in beef heart. Beef heart. He only eats raw meat and raw oh, does, organs you know, and stuff. Raw yeah. meat. Okay, that's no, what I like too. No processed foods. <laughs> Over the board, I like some raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> that Stubby still behind me? You can probably feel. He feels like raw meat right now. <laughs> I, well, you know. Sometimes okay. the other guy gets lucky. In those cases, you generally lose. That's what happens. But, uh, well, and it's always nice when you're playing somebody maybe that's better than you, and he gets all the luck. I mean. <laughs> that was my basic problem. Like somebody with I don't know. I love looking at yeah, you know, one thing that's almost it's pretty consistent, though, is the guy who wins <laughs> had more luck. You very seldom, you know, have less of luck. One time, I, my proudest moment was I had minus 3.5 luck, and I won the finals of an event. Okay, he's going to get out. Yeah, I feel very, very bad. I and I lost the players. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you wouldn't feel near as bad as I would. <laughs> <laughs> but it is kind of fun to tell people how the other guy was so lucky, but you beat him anyway. You know, who's this? I rolled bad, uh, but I played really good. Spam call on the iPhone there. Oh, two six from the bar. Now, Dana's just got an itchy trigger finger right here. If Kit doesn't perform. One boom. six from the bar. Well, he uh. performed. 
Dane has got an itchy trigger finger at all times. But he he was uh, masterful in restraint in one of those last games. Who's hit from the bar? Yeah, that's two times in three shakes. Who did? Bay Rack. Lurrell's good. Yes, Urban he is. must be pretty decent, too. Yeah, I played him in the finals in L.A. And I, if I had scored a point, then I would have had one. I remember your PR, your table's PR was much worse than our intermediate final. Who were you playing? I was playing. Oh, no. Uh, Macaulay? No. Yeah. Oh, in Los Angeles. Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, that guy. Sustraka or, no, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Okay. There it comes. We knew we were talking about. Dana, so Dana, Dana sends it over. Trigger finger. And he's he had some. Uh, yeah. He said. He had some hitting and some priming equity. So his uh, look now. See, look at here's a brilliant move. He's gonna just make his five point, leave blots all over. Everybody else would do something like this. Okay, he just he just did the regular move. But now this is going to quite a price to pay to hit. Well, there's quite a price to pay to make the bar point also. He's got to leave a double shot to do that. Yeah. Uh, generally, uh, the computer hits a lot of positions that I don't because it just sends a guy back. You know, it takes away half of his shape. And Kit back does it. Okay, Dana looking for 6X here. No 6X. Now, Dana, he sends to his doubles partner. I, I'm going to predict that Dana just goes out to the bar point here. He says, when the guy's got a whole lot of builders out there, you just go out to the bar point. And what's he going to do? There it is. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. That'll unstack the six point a little bit, Kit, with those six checkers. Is this a good shake or what? And for his last trick. Well, they can't slide eight to seven because that would expose him to two six from the bottom. Well, he's exposed to two six. I see O'Hagan behind me there. How did O'Hagan's match with the uh, sacks go? O'Hagan lost the sacks. Oh my God! Well, second place isn't bad, John. He's gonna. He's thinking about making the bar point. That was in the uh, fighters bracket. So he's 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 relegated to consolation now. Well. I think he crushed me last night, so I don't care what happened to him. There's Johnny, Mr. Vitor. I heard you forfeited a match today, John. They, Aaron was talking about that you forfeited a match. You better go find out. Well, but did you play a second chance match? You got confused with the consolation. Consolation is tomorrow, John. But you weren't in the like consolation. You were just in the losers bracket. I think you got forfeited out, brother. Better go check. Ask Aaron. Consolation is effectively last chance. In this, I know it, it's confusing. Oh, Dana is going to pick up a cube here, or no? Did he? Oh, he already sent it. Look at this. This was a bad fan by. Uh, yeah, I guess. Do you hit pick or do you make the five point? Step up, twenty-four, twenty-three. Now, I'm thinking he, he ought to checker. consider just making the five point, but. 
That's powerful, powerful stuff. I mean, he may be, will, well be able to make it again. Yeah, that would give him a no, big this is the okay. play, I think. All right. But you got to consider the other one. And he didn't really Where's the other checker? It's hiding. Hit or can't find the guys. <clears throat> yeah, I think John got confused by the second chance consolation. Aaron, yeah, Aaron was talking about it. John's ducking me, John's ducking me, John's ducking me, and then they forfeit him and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So. He's gonna he's gonna be crestfallen when he finds that out if that if he did get Okay, Dana needs this five point. He, does he? Maybe he could send it here, no? Oh look at he rolled two one. <laughs> this guy here he says he, he forwarded a match to Mochi once, but Who did? This guy on here, Tim Sullivan, you see, he forwarded a mass of mochi, but he just did it so he could say, well, he won, but it was a technicality. <laughs> <laughs> I lost on the technicality. Technically, I lost. <laughs> oh, we have so much fun in this game. Oh, Kit gets out with a six. Is that going to give him a take? He's already uh -oh. got the cube. Oh, that's right. Yeah, all right. That's right. I forgot yeah, Dana's about that. Dana spent that early. Dana's looking to pound on him here. Yes, he is. Should he leave the anchor? No. I hit him on the deuce. I don't know. I don't know about that. You want him on the deuce. That's where you want him. That checker belongs there. You got to get out of there at some point. And uh, Kit might work him over, but he's still going to. He reached to get another guy sent behind that five prime. So I might, I would think about coming out and going uh, eight to seven. I could be wrong, but you got to run sometime. And you're, that's a I pretty guess, good prime. That could, there you go. Okay, See that? So, so Ray uh, is right. Well, that we could just both be wrong, Bill. <laughs> Dimitri is back in the house. Hi, Dimitri. Craig Anderson is in the house. Hey, guys. Oh, he's looking at your play now. Hey, hey, he's hey. He's going, what bozo would do that? <laughs> Jesus. All right. He isn't, came out. Isn't someone calling your name? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> Aren't you needed Look at the, in the back of the room? There we go. 5-1. Here's the attack. Look here. Look here. Ooh. Look at Dana. He's just going to come on out and... It's going to try and flail with this with four men behind a five prime. Okay. And Dana's going to play a game we used to like in the video arcade called Pac Man. <laughs> He's going to be munching on some blots. Now, see, he didn't step up, though. Now, this is significant. It makes it doesn't give a kid a target, you know? Doesn't give him a target. And those two checkers are under a lot of pressure from. Yeah, because Dane is threatening those. Yeah. But he can ignore that pressure if he's got a target to attack. And Dana steps up anyway. All right, he might as well face the music, he said. And if he gets a five or a four, I won't get pointed on. And he got a five and a four. Look at this, though, Kit. <laughs> He's working on this side of the board, but he could either get hit or he could just not get out with those four oh. checkers behind the five prime. So this is not an enviable position for Mr. Woolsey. Now, would you slot the two point? Look at that. Without a hesitation, Kit slots the two point. Now, it's easy to get confused by that terminology, John, so don't... It's all right, John. It's don't only beat the, up yourself. It's only the U.S. Open. And was it against Aaron? It was Aaron that he forfeited to. That's bad. That's Look at Kit. At the last possible second, he pr produces a six. Now Dana flubs. Kit's begging for another six. And he gets an ace. He gets to the launching pad. 
Initiate the countdown, the launch Shit. sequence. Uh, Five, Dana would like four, some of those aces. Three, two. One and Kit. Kit better get a six right about here. He got a, a six. A natural six, uh, not a combo six. <laughs> Have to be specific here. All right. Well, he'll wait until it's more dramatic, like now. <laughs> All right. Six, six and hit in passant. Oh, God, that would be a huge shake. Mm. What kind of Peter Butter do you like, Kit? Crunchy. Four point, I think. I don't know. It seems like the natural play. Yeah, you don't want to tempt the gods. Well, he tempted the gods. <laughs> yeah. That it, hits and covers. That'll man. make double sixes really good. <laughs> Kit can write home to his grandkids about it. Mm -hmm. Look Dana, out. Dana, Dana, he's... Flies right in the face of fear. That's why he's a much admired player in backgammon. Uh oh. Runaway die. There, Dana got it. Did you see? So So uh who who threw that? Dana. Dana he got excited because he got missed with the double sixes? Yeah, and he shot one across the board, dear. Halfway across the room. He's still going to give him that super joker double six. Yeah, but that's all. See, that's the idea well, behind that. That's all he so. needs. <laughs> well, no, it won't be all he needs because he's kind of got to cover with one of them, so he can't get them all out. You get two of them out and cover. Now Dana's playing for the gammon. He wants to, he wants to shoot at that checker when it comes out. See, he's going to make the points behind. This is a concept I learned from XG. I, I used to... Load all my builders on the prime, waiting for the guys to come out. Now he could think about breaking the uh, point five away. Trap him a little bit, yeah, more of a trap play kind of thing. He won't do it here. I I would bring the front one in, I think, but he, no, nope, he's not doing it. He wants that direct shot on any six, and he doesn't mind giving up the double sixes he, like he's shown. This looks like. Anyway, uh, trap plays don't really uh, apply so much when the other guy has a third checker back because he can leave without breaking his anchor. Unfortunately, Ian, uh, yes, Mr. Stubby succumbed quickly to Mr. Vogel. <laughs> I, I heard the terms uh, raw meat and all kinds of things used. but uh, Yeah, but that was not in reference to... Mr. Stubby. He was a gentleman throughout. <laughs> but he rolled like a putz. <laughs> You're up 12 to 6 and lost, John? And then you decided to take a break and forfeit your next match? Okay, now, this is where... You can get sexy, and you can bring two guys in and leave two blots. But look at Dana doesn't even know about the trap play. He's not trying that. <laughs> but that's that's more like when there's just an anchor there. But look at Kit. It's the advanced trap play here. But that's okay when they have a two-point board. Unless you, you don't, you know, you can lose plenty of ways this way. You might as well force them to participate in their own demise that's a very satisfying thing to do back him look at dana he's like workman like and he's worked it back and he's got this match at least he's tied it up he may even win a flute gammon yeah don't be scared No, and he doesn't. I mean, oh, kids. <laughs> A herd of this two ones. Dueling two by. ones here. <laughs> he wouldn't mind another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Look out. Jane had changed his horses in the middle of the stream. 
I think he changed the stream in the middle of the horse. <laughs> Kit, Kit never got gammon in a game like this. That would be a psychological hammer blow to deliver. Well. Oh, oh wrong man. The, the, uh, the perfectly inefficient double. <laughs> it's the rare, a rare species of dice roll. Look at this. Kit still... Still not safe. He's trying to figure out how can I get off with double fours and fives? Oh, yeah. All right. I rolled four, three twice. What, what's it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, Dana. That's the right idea. Here comes a big. Oh. Well done, Kit. Look at him laughing. He's smiling like. <laughs> I don't think so. I think there were four in the middle. We'll see it. He's smiling like Johnny V tore on Christmas. He, uh, Dana had to play, had such a horrible double three. <laughs> he could have, would have gammoned him on that game. Yeah. Okay. Six away, six away. I still don't know who I'd rather play of these two guys. I, I know one thing. I'll be a dog against either one of them. I don't know. That's uh, no, that's Jonah and uh, Neil's playing in there, but not on the stream. Jonah and uh, Mays Petrosi in there playing. All right, who's the favorite in this match now, Bill? It's nine to nine. Now, who would you take if I'd you take, had the bet? I'd, I'd take uh, Dana. All right. One. There was a time. Of, some years back, when I was doing a Giants uh, uh, backgammon ballot, and I put Kit's name at the top. I thought he was that good. Speaking of that, I guess they've not released it. It's done. It's supposed to be released here today, tomorrow, or something. Oh, is it? Giant list. <laughs> this is a pretty ugly set of twos. Usually you got to play with it. Man, this. He could duplicate aces and break the midpoint, but he, he simplified it a little bit. I'm going to move bit. this real quickly before anybody sees me. Look at this shake by Kent. Now, this is a good shake. Dana's got railroad tracks, and Kit took a massive lead in the race. Dana needs a five to survive here. There he goes. He should make that outfield point and slot the five, I think. I don't know. Well, unless the race, five for sure. unless the race is not that close. Let's see. He's going to be down 10 and up uh, 16, even. It's dead even. He'll be up one pip after he makes this play. At least in Chicago win, Dimitri, not in it's a Chicago tournament. That's two months away. CJC told me it was going to be released today, tomorrow, or the next day, something like that. What does she know about the Giants? Well, yeah, what does she know, though, right? <laughs> I think she has good connections. Yeah, she does. Well, this is a real tight race, so unless somebody rolls something big, it's not going to be anything happening for a while. There's something big. Dana will come around the corner with the 6-5. He should come around the corner with the 6-5. What is he doing? Well... Did not I, sure did what I, the maybe count I was. maybe I counted it wrong. I don't know. He's down ten, up three, up ten, down two, down two, down two. He, he was down five, I guess now. After the shake. 
Yeah, so he probably had to stay back. All right. So you maintain that output. Down 10, up 3, 10, down 2, down 5. Yeah, down 5. Well, it's such that, I mean, Kit's uh, counting it and thinking about it yeah. himself. Well, he's Honestly, not going to send it. He doesn't have a significant enough Racing advantage. lead, no, he doesn't. So, and uh, now he rolled a low average shake. So, Dana won't double this because he's down nine pips. Nine down. Now he's down four, and Kit not going to send that either. And Kit will just slot to three. Kit just got. Oh my God! By whom? Oh, Tristan. Tristan didn't. Okay. This uh, Tim Sullivan guy here. He, he's. By the way, Ray. Good lecture and thanks. All right. Well, oh, thank you, Tim. Get you out to a tournament. Show you how that stuff works over the board. All right. Now these guys are posturing and they're putting checkers on points. They're, this is going to eventually be a bear off. It's an even race now, so I would probably stick one on the two point. But maybe it's better to come in two and four and put one on the. Uh, no, Dana did what I said. All right. So he's he's ready for the bear off. And uh, when all else, all other things being equal, Dana would might maybe like his board to look a little bit like a wedge. So if he had another guy on the six point, that would kind of look wedgy. Mm. And uh, they're both sitting there hoping to roll another six five or big set. Seeing who blinks first. Yeah, gets a little bit ahead, but. Dane is probably going to have a tiny bit better distribution. Mr. Jeff Hall sitting behind us in his loud shirt. He he has to face Brandon Macklin tonight in the Masters. Have you ever played Brandon? Okay. That'll be an experience for you, Jeff. You remember that guy you beat last year? <laughs> Jeff and I had a hell of a match. Yeah, that was the one with the monster back games, wasn't it? Yeah, they, they, used, it, they used it as a demo video day right, on, the, um, on the, one of the UK websites. Oh, oh is right? that right? Yeah, they, they made, made fun of Ray, did they? They just said if you want to see a back game in action, it's a pretty good one to see. Yeah. <laughs> that only took about an hour to yeah, play. <laughs> Okay, who blinks first? No blinking yet. And what, what, let's see, he's down six, but he's up, okay, then he's up six and up one. Okay. It, was, it was dead even right there. Yeah. That was dead even. And now Kit's a favorite because he's got this shot, but it's not enough to send a cue. Five three against five three, so it's still dead even. Yeah. And uh, it's a six-point match. <laughs> that was like uh, contraindicated, Dana. It's going to count it up, and he's going to find out, oh, I'm up three. Or down so then three. then he's going to roll. Down, down three, but he's on shake. So that, it would be a dead-even game if he was down four on shake. And that's all assuming that I got the right count. And sometimes I don't give out the real count. In the chouette. <laughs> and then they say, that counts not all you wanted, the real count. Okay. Here comes Dana. Oh, another brick. He's rolling like John Vitor. <coughs> Uh-oh. Now Kit's getting an itchy trigger finger. What's going on here? What's the race now? That's 12 and that's 11. So Kit's... Yeah. 36, 46, Kits down one. Yeah. He's up four. He's even, even, seven. even. He's up one pip. Kit. If I 56, got that right. 56, 57. 
Okay. We used different methods and came up with the same answer. But there's a crossover difference, too. Does that make enough yeah. difference, dude? I don't think. I don't think. It, One pip and a crossover. I don't think it's significant enough. Do you? There, well, he's got some wastage on the ace point and stuff. It's an even match. I don't know. Maybe. He, he got Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Let's see. I don't, I'm not sure. I thinking that I wouldn't, but I, and I'm not a guy that uses those EPC counts, but the Keith count would probably is, not be I think, favorable. Uh, I don't think Dana would let it hit the board. No, that doesn't. Yeah. Just because he's going to take doesn't mean that you don't, you know, necessarily double because Dana's wasting a pip on every six that he rolls. Right. <sighs> Six five three two, yeah. Oh, look, Kit, he's challenging him. He's talking to him. You want to take this? <laughs> he said, do you like apples? Do you, do you feel lucky today? <laughs> <laughs> See now, how much the complexion changed with that one shake. And uh, Dana lets you go. And uh, Kit lost his market. But he's probably glad about that. I mean, he doesn't have to finish winning the game. All right. <clears throat> Ten to nine. That's what I thought. On Bill, I'm gonna take just a minute break. Yeah. And I'll be right back. I thought it was one tip. It's a bitch when you're getting older, eh? <laughs> okay. So, scorecard, scorecard. Okay, they got it. One point. Sit down if you want. I'll see if oh, I can add any yeah. uh, an English accent for you with a, with a bright shirt. We we get a little British perspective in here. Okay, it's an exciting match anyway. It is. Now, how are you doing in the main event? Now, you shouldn't be asking me questions like that because I, I wouldn't be commentating if I was doing well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you are in the Masters semifinal tonight. Yeah, I'm in the jackpot semi tonight. Bra Brandon Macklin. Bra Brandon Macklin, yeah. Jeff Hall. Never played him before. So um, I'm just going to get myself rested for that. Brandon's um, a cool dude, man. I don't know what he does. I think he's he's pretty much a professional gambler. I think okay. of various sorts. Okay. Poker, pool, backgammon. A man after my own heart, then. He, he's more of a... And he's he's a good player. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. He, he's he's much more of a money player than a match player. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so we've got sort of a cagey bit of hitting going on. Trying to uh, control the tempo of the game, and that's probably going to hit again. It's got a slightly stronger board, so he doesn't mind his hitting uh, exchange. Yeah, and he so can much. make the four. Yeah, okay. that's nice. Okay. <laughs> this guy He's gonna consider relates to what you said earlier. It's that those who can win play, those who can't commentate. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> At least I won't be commentating tonight. I will be playing, so that's something. It's going to be a bit late for my uh, my my friends in England. Okay, here we go. Dana's got the ace double. point anchor. I think he's taking that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> snatched it, actually. Dana's a taker, anyway. Yeah, um, I, I wouldn't have snatched it. I would have. <laughs> but, uh, Dana's probably one of the least known best players. Oh, yeah. No, in the I, world. I, no, yeah. I, I mean, I've, I'm familiar with Dana and his PR and. Uh, yeah, very solid player. And I, and I think he is known in, and like you say, perhaps not as well known as some of the others. But uh, well, he retired a year or two ago, so he's starting to play. Uh, okay. and that, 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 would, that, would, that, would, that would make some uh, difference. Yeah, he's going to make the bar, so he's in a very good position now, Kit. It's the four point. Okay. Well, that's the, the golden point, as they say. It's in a 
commanding uh, position here. And then, Dana. Do you make the 23 here? You've got to step up. I think up. you've got to. Oh, you Either make that or step minutes. up. Yeah, yeah. Either way. This was probably actually better, I think. Yeah, but I, I, I see what you're saying. The stepping up wouldn't have been uh, too bad. Okay. The 6 4 makes the point. So Kit would love to um, win a double gammon here, puts him in Crawford. Nice shake that's there. A, yeah, that's uh, that's going to help. That's going to help his quest. So Dana is in a lot of. A lot of. He's going to possibly end up with more checkers back if things go wrong. Because Kit's got quite a bit of timing having three on the yeah, money point and, there. Yeah. Uh, and Dana's stripped on. Yeah. It's not It's not like Kit's going to be bearing in sometime right, soon. Right. And uh, Dana's going to have trouble right here. And that's going to increase Well, that's it. great, but now he's, just, he's too far ahead of himself. Now. Yeah, yeah. He'd rather, obviously, double one rather than double five yeah, would have been. Yeah. So now Kit is going to do his best to pick up additional checkers because it would take him to uh, Crawford six away, which would be a... Very, very strong position. We can get a gammon here. So who, you're not on the board any longer. Who's heading up the UKBGF nowadays? I would believe, I think it would be Julia. Julia Haywood. Yeah. Okay. Who, who, who's been in that position before. Okay. Um, there were, I, I served my two years. And then you, you know, I, I did. I did have the option to continue. Decided not to. I, I'm, I'm doing some consulting for a, a U.S. company actually. So it's taken up a little bit of time. I should say it's taken up all my time. Yeah. Really. Okay. But it's it is taking up a fair amount of time. So uh, I, I just thought I'd step down, like someone else. Um, you know, I, I think it's a great experience. Well, and uh, <laughs> it's the and I'll use the British term, the controversy <laughs> that, the, uh, oh, that deal oh, last gosh. year, that kind of died down now. And... Yeah, I mean, it's, um, yeah, that that was, um, that's actually how I came to be chairman. Well, that's what I was way. thinking, that it was some fashion. Yeah, that... um, I was on the board at the time, but I, I sort of, if you like, took over the sort of, the general consensus of it i mean you know you've got sort of nine nine voices on the board and they've all got differing views some are a lot stronger and i yeah. think we came out with a with a very you know it was a fair you're never going to please everybody um yeah. in that situation and um it, it, you know it was a shame i was on i was on vacation at the time in greece and i spent six hours on my last day writing up the report oh. So uh, yeah, that didn't go down very well with the uh, with, with, with uh, my uh, travelling companion. <laughs> so. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I miss it. I miss playing the piano when I'm. Hey, what uh, happened? Is your kid got a, uh, yeah, we I, we we. Cube in here. He got a cube in and. Um, then he went his way after that. Yeah, I mean he's gonna be looking to try and uh, squeeze a. Yeah, Crawford it, six away, it, yeah. yeah. This would be a perfect time. Well, it's never a, a not not a perfect time to win a gammon, is there? Really? No, no. <laughs> is now is the perfect time to win a gammon. Let's see, so three ten. All right, might have a break. Maybe we'll get something to eat. Before I'm going to get some lunch in a minute, so Ray can take back over. I mean, uh, he, well, no, we're good. Works too, so. I can say, okay. Well, yeah. I'm just going to say that in this position, I prefer green. Dana got in a lot of trouble. Dana got he's in a, a lot taker. of trouble. Yeah. He, that's what yeah, he gets. He sort of snatched the cube. I mean, I'm not going to go against a player like Dana's, um, but I think I would have given it a little bit more thought. You know, um, Yeah, he pretty much snatched it up. Yeah, it was almost like it was a not, you know, you've, you've got the feeling it wasn't a cube, but I mean, Kit had made the rack. They'd made the four, five, and six points, 
and, and Dana was back on the one point. So I think I would have given it some thought. All um, right. That's a fair enough assessment. I mean, uh... it's easy to say when it's gone wrong, wrong for him because <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, anybody can say, well, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, this looks like a pass. To <laughs> it looks me. like a pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This yeah. is an awkward <laughs> role for Kit, though. I mean, how's he going to play this for? Well, he's going to clear. He's going to clear that. Which he yeah. almost has to. One the, the only other play was to stack on the floor. Yeah, and yeah. That was that, that was that would have been pretty ugly. One of the things that Dana and I have had a lot of conversations about down through the years is how much equity you get by holding the deuce point. And uh, it's just okay. kind of surprising, but, uh, you know. Well, it's about uh, 20%. More than you would think. I don't know. It's just that, you know, they're slingering in, and, and you don't, because they bear off so slow against the deuce point, you don't get gammoned very often. But watch them get gammoned. Never get a shot here. But see, he's out. Yeah, he's a big favorite to save the gammon, and there's a fair chance he'll get a shot, right? Yeah, when Kit cleared the um, cleared the bar, that was a really important five six that Dana rolled to get mm -hmm. that four check mm -hmm. around. And and now he's going to uh, so he's, he's a big favorite to scurry save. home and yeah, limit the damage. Plus, if he now rolls double sixes, he'd be right there in the race, kind of right. Well, he'd, make he'd be it closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, that was what I'd be wishing for. A lot of times you sit there waiting for a shot that's never going to come, and you could have, you know, maybe run off the thing. You never can tell when, you know, two sets of fives come up in a row. What yeah. did you say earlier? It rolled six, 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 five, five, and didn't get to move. Pip. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, two on the 18 point. Oh, all wow. in. Otherwise, Dana had the 12 and 13. It rolled six, 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 oh, five, geez. five. All those pips gone, gone to waste, yeah. It's at 68 pips down oh, the drain. Wow. And I think I go to the five <laughs> point here, but... He Is could, he going to the five? Or I, he... I'm, I think so, but he could come around to... I guess he's trying to figure out you know, what's going to be the best if he rolls a good number. Uh, that, it would take a lot for that pip I to could, bite you. Double f no, it doesn't really think. take a lot for me to win this game. I think here. he's I know. probably less. <laughs> probably. I didn't think there's going to be very much in that play. You say it was okay, a sort of around, around about one or two percent chances, if that. Yeah, he yeah. Needs, he needs, he needs he a couple of big doubles. Saves now. He could, incredibly. Well, one. Maybe there was a way I should have done. Only gets two off. So. Yeah. Yeah. That helps, but not much. Yeah. He needs a incredible parlay, and that that wasn't part of it, probably. We need, uh, yeah, that's what he needs. And just to make it worse, he's got an odd number of checkers anyway. So it's yeah. Good. Better uh, start rolling sets now, Dana. No, save them for the next game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Dana dug himself out of one hole in this match already. Oh. And get back to even, and then Kits. Yeah, well, Dana was down pretty good, right? And he gets it back to 9-9, nine, nine, and now yeah. Kit pulls away again. Kit's doing his matador imitation. Oh, he's, he's, uh, like Mitch says, that uh, he calls it the stupid score, three away. Um, <laughs> and I, 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 I must admit... I, I don't like being three away. N not, it's not as far as three away. No, I like, away and I like really my difficult. opponent to be three away because I know they can make some mistakes. Absolutely. And, yeah. And, you know, I can, I can put on my glasses that don't have any lenses and I can see that it's a take. Whenever they, <laughs> yeah. If they're three away, it's a take. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Unless you're closed out. But, because it's almost perfect leverage they hand you. I'd just been given a, a, a similar position. The guy was three away and I was eight away. And um, it doubled me on a quite a bit of contact. Of course, I had the worst of it. But then I turned it around and I just needed to roll a two. So I gave the dice and failed miserably a couple of times and lost the match. But that, that can happen as well, obviously. <laughs> Um, that's okay. That's what was happening in the first place. But you yeah, were losing right. the match, right? You, you yeah. your, <laughs> that's right. You gave yourself the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, if the luck, it's like I said last night, if the duck, luck doesn't equal out, then I'm going to be in the consolation. So I might as well get, you know, something for my... If I get lucky, do Absolutely. I want to have the coupon two or four? So Absolutely. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, what you do with this horrible roll? Oh, what you got? The whole roll to play? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's... I don't know, man. You got to start something. See, sometime. look, look. There's a deuce anchor. Okay. I yeah. would have said that he was going to do that because of the discussions we've had in the past. Well, there's the five point, possibly. Yeah, it's underrated. Mm -hmm. Look at kid; he hits and passant to making the five point. That's beautiful. And Dane is in more trouble. Man, oh man, this guy. No, wait, wait. this is the only thing at three away. When do you give the cube now? Because hey, would, would you be tempted, Ray, to cube? Well, the kind of cubes that you that I see the XG given in these positions are the kind that tend to be pretty gammonish, you know, when it goes good. Uh, and when a guy's got the deuce anchor, that's not very gammonish. So I'm going to guess he probably won't send this, but he'd be happy to just bring builders around and yeah, this is really close difficult. off the bar point. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if we, saw, yeah. if we saw Dana take fast before, <laughs> watch what he would do with this one. Excuse me one second. Gents, keep them, keep them entertained. Okay, we can handle it. <laughs> so what's the choices here? You can play to the 10 point, give yourself. Yeah, that, and that's, that's the other option. Yeah. Yes, I would have just uh, brought the builder over there. I, I would have played to the 10 myself. Just yeah, to, just all to right. Make... So we're on the same page. We might be on the wrong page, right? Yeah, but, that's but We're on true. the same page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it don't have to be the right one. Yeah, that's right. It gave, gave Dana a tempo to, uh, you know. Yeah. So 13 to 9, or is he going to come out to the bar? I think that's what he's considering. Yeah. I'm thinking they should come out, threaten to make the bar point. They have a virtual double shot. That would be great. Yeah, if, if he makes that bar point, then he's he's in the game, isn't he? Right to the end now. Um, that's a hit. Okay, we're gonna find out. That could be a dangerous place to be, Kit. Ooh, no. Oh, oh, he's gonna hit though. Yeah, oh, no. that's gonna hit. Now Kit could be thinking about it, but look, he's not even thinking. No. Ooh, do you? That was pretty good. You had sixes and ones and fours were all pretty good. I think I would have gave that some thought with three checkers yeah. back. Yeah. It's that three away score. It really can. Be it good. is, but I mean, you know, there Ooh. at some point, you know, you know, you can't just decide to not never double, but that looks like that's actually a fairly good shake for dana even though he didn't yeah, protect I mean, his plot no do you bring that do you come down to the nine or do you play safe it's decided to yeah he just you know, to well with that 22 point anchor that has yeah. got some some game and yeah, he's always got something there. It's it's gonna be careful not to hand over leverage cheap. Yeah. But I that was a pretty sexy position when he had fours, ones, and sixes going on over there. Okay. I might be tempted to hit loose. I don't want that stupid builder on the four point, and I don't want him to yeah. anchor. Yeah, and and it ruins his timing a little bit as well. As far, but yeah, yeah, he's behind the four prime. Yeah, getting hit is not so bad for no. him. He can recirculate his checkers, and they may end up making the eight point in front of Dana. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, that's oh, nice. that's a sweet shape. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, that might that changes the whole complexion. He can play to the he can play to the mid if he wants, rather. Than... Yeah. It's a tournament been for you, Ray, so far. Well, I'm playing the winner of this, and that's a, it's the money oh, round. Okay. So, uh, ah. but there's some bozo named John O'Hagan who just handed it to me last night. <laughs> 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 I got in the second round of the Masters, and John O'Hagan <laughs> realized how much better he was now. I think he beat me uh, 19 to 4. Ooh, what a miss, guys. Well, Dana rolled a 6-5 to make a nice 8-point out there and uh, yeah. make a game out of this. He was he was in a lot of trouble, but he hung in there as usual. Is it Dana thinking about the 5-4 now? Yeah, his clock's running. Yeah, so I guess I'm just coming down with two. What's he thinking about? Yeah. I'm not sure, actually. He, he can't be thinking of uh, running off the 20, 22. I haven't done a pick count, so I don't know what the race is like. But, I mean... Well, what's he got? 55, 39 to 94, 95. He's pretty far down, I think. Yeah. 119 for black. That's 60. 119, and that's... The anchor is kind of a life preserver, so I would just work on... I think so. I say, 129 or 119 or what I say. That's the problem. It was uh, I was 10, 55, 90. He is thinking of running off. I'm not sure if 95, that's... 95, 119. Yeah, well, you know, that could be right, but I know for 100% that uh, I wouldn't have done that. And that doesn't really mean anything. Well, this is going to make a four-point board unless he just decides to run. Yeah. Uh, he just switch and step up. That's kind of the yeah. downside of leaving your anchor, which is... But here, 2-6 from the bar will be in okay shape. Two, oh, five. Five. Oh, that's not too bad. All right. The two and six points open. Those are my... Favorite four point board Ooh, to come in on is this one. Do you hit? Five, four, three, one. Does he have much choice? Well, he can play to the 14, but. He, he so they just come in that. with a. There he goes. There he goes. He minimize better. shots single, and bring more shot. extra builders. Yeah. Dane is stuck back make there. The, so he'll, no, he can't hit. Three he, he can't hit. But it's a bit dangerous. He's thinking. Yeah. yeah, but if you, even if it's dangerous, it, you know, you've got to put him up there. 10, 11% of the time he fans. And you're going to get attacked anyway over there. His pit, yeah. pit's going to be pretty merciless. He's in the center anyway. So. Oh, what a. See, he gave him that chance. Diego Munoz from Santiago is back with us. Hello, Diego. Oh, look at this. Diego. Is that it? Oh, he can make the bar point. He can make the nine point. He can make the 17 point. And he does that. And I guess he'll come to eight, in. Huh? Eight, six. eight to six, yeah. We're going to do that. Or he can slot the bar. That's okay. not bad. That's only a few, what, two more shots than. Six shots altogether. Not one of them. Look at that. Dana, man, he makes. He challenges you to roll something good. Now, no, he's got eleven now. checkers bearing down on that on that block. He's got to consider whether he wants to choose. Yeah, that. he's he's contemplating uh, what he might do. Hmm. Why is he licking his lips? That's one thirty-two <laughs> for wide. <laughs> it's like that Six, kid five, put a pork down. cap in front of him. <laughs> Could hit, but. Uh, Oh, no. And come on down. What the hell? He, he I don't think he can't stop hit. him from getting out anyway. Yeah, I don't think he wants to hit. Oh, yeah, he could hit loose, but I don't think that's it. He's got a whole lot of holding 
Echo well, now from, from our the problems are also MCG point. is in the room, so we've got the yeah. Well, we can the get the right answer. Here, you know? Yeah, so we can get Matt, the right Matt answer. Commented, right, I'll do what Matt says. But I mean, he, he's <laughs> only got a thirty-three hundred rating, so he can't, you know, can't trust too much everything. That, you know, huh? carte blanche. I mean, if he wants to leave a bit of um, contact, I mean, I, I guess you could. Not that I would suggest it. You could make the two point, and then and then you've got yeah. that midpoint. Yeah. Um, rather than that hit. Okay, Matt has gauged this as a tricky position. Okay, mm. well, I agree. <laughs> if you've got the two point, you can hit on the three or you can come down on the eight. Well, I can tell you from experience that Matt is a tricky person. <laughs> You've look at Dana. Really Dana never shies away from the. Oh, look at that controversial. Just to think about that, Dana, you're my hero. I think that would be my choice number three out of, out of the three options of either bringing two down or making the. Well, two if there is ever a four-point board that you would try something like that with, it's one that looks like kits. Yes, good point. <laughs> Especially with the uh, two six from two, the bar. From I the mean, bar. if, you, if you're any good at that. Board. Yeah. Matt says he thinks he would hit. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Galaxy. Genius. <laughs> huh. a... Give him the chance to fan again. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Is the Brave, as they say. Send yeah, this. Is it too good? Send no, it. I don't think it's too good at all. It's, um, and I, it's where the kick can... Actually, think about it. Looks like he I wanna, just got he, kicked he under still, the table. He could, <laughs> he could still take this. I like it. I like to tell you something, Kit. Takers are hard to beat. If he passes, then uh, Dana's five. Away. He's up a bunch in the race. I think he's gonna. I think he should take it. But well, he be better put his hard hat on because there's gonna be some blood flowing. Better activate he, your... Uh, he, and he doesn't really want Dana to get four them? away if activate he takes. Activate your crash no, bag or no. airbag. Activate your airbag. He bag. would like to get to 14, and he would like Dana not to get to... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're saying he don't want him to get to 11, so yeah, maybe give you, him this one, huh? If you give him this one, right. he's, what, five away, three. He's still 35, 65% for the match. These guys, passes. the best players in the world, they don't give you anything, man. You can't, you can't take a it's game a, it's off. It's a good cube. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, you know, but it might be, you know, m more psychologically strong than it is, you know, on the board. You can see yourself. Strong, huh? Yeah, you can see yourself making that, but then the guy rolls, you know, four, five, four, six, and he's in and out, or he just bides his time. The yeah, the other trouble is if if you come in on the one or the two point, assuming that Dana makes the three point, you you've got no direct route to get out free the freedom. So although it's only technically going to be a three-point board, you are really hoping that you'd land on that four-point because landing on that one point could, actually, oh, yeah. could yeah. actually put you in, in more problem, could create more problems. Well, let's see. What's the race? Anybody hasn't tried 12 that pips. yet? 12 pips. Kit is up 12 pips. Up 12. All right. I'm taking. I don't. Let's yeah. it go. I, I think at the score. He was just, waiting, to, I, I think, he was just yeah. waiting for Ray to commit. <laughs> and just, and yeah. do the opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's ask Matt. <laughs> okay, Matt. What were you doing? To you, Matt. I'm, Matt's a taker, by the way. I love it. And he's the. Uh, I think take. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Oh, thank you. I rest my case, and I will go have a coke. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here we are, three away, five away. Yeah, Matt might be the biggest taker in the galaxy. Getting hit isn't so bad. Okay, so it's thirteen nine. So one thing I've learned, one of the themes I really learned. All right, Dana's trying to crawl up there. If he gets to eleven, you can see some. There'll be some fast and furious cube action then. Yeah. I did have some Look at Kit's. He's smiling. Okay, that's a hit and the four point. Enter, hit, and make a point. Those are always good shakes. Neil Kazros wants to ban doubles from the bar. The thing is, is if I 
Because it. Twos. That's the only thing that can beat him. You know, you, somebody rolls doubles from the bar. Neil always has a better position than you do. But you can beat him if you can roll sets. O'Hagan might be moving into that camp after that double four Nazarian put on him this morning. Huh? Well, yeah, well, <laughs> he stole a couple from Dana before that. Pessimistic on this one. Uh-oh, this could be an important shake. Yeah, they, they, Two, four from the bar. Here we go. Going to find a familiar ring to them with uh, Dana being you know, back on that 24 point and keep threatening to make the rack. Yeah. Um, but he turned it around last time. And now Kit's thinking again. Yeah, he's thinking, but I don't know. Does he have enough? He's got sixes and threes and eights. Yeah, and sevens, I guess. But he's three away again. That's and he's got away. a lead. That's uh so you got to be a little careful, kid. You know Dana's going to take this. <laughs> yeah, sure. see, that's the thing. Yeah. And that's a that's a subtle amount of pressure that Dana puts on you uh, because you okay. can't... You He wouldn't have pushed him off that last cue. Oh, well, now I'm surprised. Dana hasn't snatched it this time. So he obviously oh, he will. something different this time. Uh, he is taking this one. I thought he would take this, but I'm like... You guys have my personal guarantee because Matt's going to tell us that he would take it. But Matt's a taker. Oh, oh no! What really? Okay. What, what, what was going on there? Matt says double take in his yeah. opinion. I, I think he Once would, again, he Matt has possible. gotten it right. Who was wrong by how much on that but, cue? Yeah. Well, Matt and I are simpatico. See that's that, and it's taken. We don't want to go there. It hit away from that three away score now. Now he's two away. Yeah, he's right. Well, I mean, how do you take advantage of the guy being three away? You take the cube, and that you guys might want to change the score. Well, maybe that's the what you do. You just you don't alter the go score. Go tell them to change the score, yeah, it should be Tara. 13, uh, but, yeah. Wow, what a kid! Kid. Oh, it's kid. Notice it. Okay. Okay. Or, he, or Tara yelled at him. <laughs> yeah, I, I I thought that was an easier take than the last one, which is the one that he snatched. Actually. Yeah, I mean, what the heck? Somebody said, of course, going to take. I don't know. You can anyway. only use one five three. You don't want two in a row. Yeah. That's okay. I, I played okay. Not bad. The, the kick kick um kick's take point in this now with with two away five away is really is is quite. Quite low, so Kick's gonna. Well, assuming taking, there's yeah no gammon and yeah that, that, that could make okay. But now it, this it, is uh, to make the five point. Um, he could also make two yeah. points, but yeah, he could have made the uh, four and the two if he wanted. But I think that looks nicer. Yeah, I think this is pretty solid. Well, what's Dana's cube strategy going to be that's like? He's five Matt, away. Matt said that a normal score, that's probably a drop. Or if Kit already owned his five point. Yes. But, but he would take it that score. Yeah. I, because I of the, the three away. Okay, so, here we go. Buckle up. Well, Kit's not taking this well, one. It's, it's a blitzy it, it, it thing. It looks a little bit gammon. Although, you know what? This is a... Uh, he may not take it, but... I've I've taken worse. <laughs> I know I, you, we find that hard to my believe. My fans <laughs> will find that hard to believe, but I have taken worse. I've been learning lately so, that sometimes you get gammoned in these positions, and that's not so good. But uh, you know, like okay, say, how many guys does Dana have in the zone? But he's got twelve. If, twelve. And if you don't count the two that he's used to make the one point. But Kit's significantly got the five point and the three point, so he can turn this game around pretty quick. You've got one on the bar. You've got. But look, if he passes, it's two oh, away, four away. Yeah. So there he went. He exactly. went and snapped it up. Exactly. Yeah, I think that was the big deal. It takes him. You give him the four away if you drive. Correct. Yeah, that's why you you, you are going to take deep. And then, so so you've got a choice here. So Did should hit? Dana hit yeah, or make the five point? Do you hit? Come up. John O'Hagan likes one. Look at Dana. He's doing it. He's the man. He is so aggressive. Yeah, that's a trick. <laughs> the kid yeah. wants a four for Christmas. Oh, 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 oh
Well, that would have anchored up if he yeah. had made the five point. So that was a good shake. Matt and Craig Anderson both said they were passing at that. Okay. Oh, is that Ooh, right? A dance. That's that's a big. Uh... Well, Kit, he he'll fly in the. I mean, he likes to do we things. We got another checker, way. another checker going up here. Oh, yeah, the trading. problem with the blitz positions <laughs> is you can get gammon, but then also you can turn them around and be. I hear oh, oh Whoa, no! Here. Hey, John, you remember this number? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. But this one doesn't point on on Kit, also, you know. No, no. Not too much. No. Okay. So well, this one, yeah, it's not so excellent. Is he just buried the guy? Right. The three? I don't know. I guess. I mean, the alternative is, oh, he can make the two point. Chat, though. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, he's going to leave a double shot and make the four point also, but the fours are. It's yucky, man. I mean. Is there any merit to playing to the? Look at this. See, there he's going to consider. Is there any merit it. to playing to the bar and the and the four, John? Well, yeah, that, that's possible. This is sort of the default. Yeah. All right. Eleven well, three seems clear to MCG. Bill, I tell you what. If somebody holds a gun to my head and says I got to make John O'Higgins play. <laughs> I'll be all right with it. <laughs> all right. All right, now Dana just wants some sets. Oh, there he gets to use that builder that John so cleverly placed on the three point. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, John. Okay, here we go. That's the obvious six. Now the three. To the three point, I think. At least sevens and yeah, you always want to make the safest play. <laughs> Actually, that is kind of a good place for a builder to. Yeah, that seems like six to threes. All right. Eight shots becomes three. We're halfway there if John recommends a play, and we're all the way there if uh, Matt agrees with him. <laughs> Howie. Hi, Howard. I gotta go and play a match. Oh, that's good. You, you can have you can have a, a real expert on the scene. Oh, you, you've gonna, got John behind me. You're gonna <laughs> give up your seat to O'Hagan? Well you yeah, you get a real expert now. Well, just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, thank, thank you. Thanks, thank you, Phil. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, 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 thank you. So you want me to take over? Yeah, yeah, he's got to go a, play a, a match. You got a British accent. So. I'll uh, work on it. Yeah, you can put my shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So five one. Uh, Matt, never leave a right? Is that the camera or something? Or is both of those guys have a red nose? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the camera. All right, uh, maybe it is, but yeah, they yeah. both have. Earlier, like... earlier, Dana had a red neck. I don't know what the. You know how you're a redneck. You know you're a redneck when. <laughs> well, that's not a very. Your good couch show. is on the porch. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Hello. The, uh, your, your wife's pickup truck is nicer than yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, God, well, that fun stuff. All right. Run off both off the 21 here. Okay. Oh, really? I think so. Make the 18 and play 21 15, don't you? I don't know. Maybe I would run off the 18 point and sit there, but I guess that makes it easier. I mean, the me. race is pretty close, isn't it? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm starting to see the merits of your move, John. You're <laughs> putting something in his face. Yeah, yeah. You kind of threaten that block, and um, and if he gets hit, you've got some, maybe some recourse. Yeah. To that guy. 
It's a subtle way of attacking the checker, or the blot on the ace point. Yeah, right. All right. right. And, uh, yeah, if you just play 18 to 9, you know, you only have indirect. Yeah, you're going to get fly shot. shots only, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks right to me, anyway. How about Mr. Ryle? So, what do you Well, think? if you do that, what? There's a little duplication of fours. Yeah, right. Right? right? So, uh, yeah, he can get it, can boomerang, but it's not that many. And plus, um, well, even no if real... you get hit, you you got a better chance at a direct mm -hmm. shot from the bar point, right? Yeah. Right. Well, I, I like it, John. Get to, get to, he's got to clear those 60, three checkers back there. 84, 114. So he's got, if he makes, after the play, he's got 105. And Kit has, uh, oh, he does that. Well, that's the same kind of Matt says his first thought was John's play. Okay. Did he change over to Dana's? Now, this is Dimitri's play. I think we would just make the four point. Dan, the two six from the bar. Oh, that's pretty safe. Okay, yeah, that was a bad play I recommended. That's it right there. What's the race though? So he's at down four and uh, eight. That's 12, 20. And your play would have worked like five. Yeah. Well, uh, he would have safety the blot with the one and with the four, he'd cover the ace. Yeah. yeah. Dane is going to be down would, nine because I don't think he would have hit. Yeah. Yeah. Because he would be leaving a direct shot. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know about this. I mean, but. I think Kit's up nine pips, and now Dana's going to come out and be down three, right? Two, four, six, 14, up one, down three, yeah. Just uh, forget the slot, and I'm, so just, now he's I'm, down I'm, 10. I'm racing. Yeah. Man, these guys are good. Thank you, Mark Dunlop, and I happen to agree with you, sitting between two great experts who are lending some uh, perspective and expertise to viewing audience. Well, I'm supplying the perspective. He's giving you the expertise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. All right. Okay. Who blinks first? Yeah. There we go. We played this game before. Boom. A neutral number. Okay. Now, does Kit leave a block? Boom. Oh, that's not a good shake. It's crunchy and it screws up your effective pip count. This is where Ray would ask uh, Dana, uh, what's your favorite kind of peanut butter, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. whoa, here we go. See, oh, just a dice rolling contest. Now. He didn't consider leaving the blot, but it wouldn't have been any good anyway. All right, here we go. It's now, a race. There, the gap on the four point is going to decide this game in Dana's favor, I predict. Good thing. Now, I didn't like this. Why did he I like wait that. the pit? That looks right. I, don't know. I thought okay. it was right. Yeah. All right. I don't like the gap either, but the saving the five is... Yeah, Kit's explaining to him why that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now, does he cover the four point by just playing six Slot to four? Kit, I think. I, th I think he does. Yeah, he's he's got a two remaining. Yeah, because otherwise it's going to be there forever. Uh yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. And they're lining up. Stevie Sacks behind us now too. Yeah. Yeah, now we're really getting some expertise. You want me to leave? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is just nip and tuck here. Yeah. And Dana is still, he's a little down in the race, but Pip, Kit's gonna, got a lot of wastage. He says, I don't care, I'll just roll 6-4 all day. 12 checkers apiece. All right. Yeah. Hit the high spot, high spots. Yeah. Things like that. Ten apiece. 
Yeah. Oh, Dana's gonna. Oh no, he's already doubled. So, I guess Dana probably hopes that he wins this game. <laughs> you, you reckon? <laughs> okay. And Kit's kind of rooting the other way. Boom! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch! Right now. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> A herd of fives went by. <laughs> Just one more set of fives, Kit. Oh! oh. Lost 13, it by that 12. much. Wow. Maybe I should have made that. <laughs> Y'all have both been in there with a little bit of a eruption out here. Can you hear that? Yes. You can hear that. You yeah. don't normally hear any of the. Did you like that yeah. when Dana rolled the double four and he heard the? I I heard a some reaction. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Three, I did. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. Look at that. I, I like that take by Kit. He didn't let him get to four away, mm. two away. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, all right, Johnny. Come on in here. Three away, two away. Yeah, these guys probably don't know a lot about this score. <laughs> well, we can explain it to them. They usually don't see this score, right? They usually win by a lot. <laughs> 15 to 2, you don't get much practice in these. <laughs> okay, both uh, good shakes here. Yeah, he's got a million ways to make a good point here. Five, four. That's one of them. Yeah. B five four. They both got the five point. Yeah. Dana must be up not. Oh, this. Ooh. This four, is still a pretty good shake. Four and two or four and nine. You I wouldn't mean, throw it back. I'm not sure. I I think I would have done the nine point. Yeah. Okay. Kid agrees. I don't know that that's right. I know it's just yeah. my opinion. Yeah. 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 Ooh, good hit. It's a hit. Good three. Oh, Dana back fighting adversity again. Ace in the three. three. And five. Oh, he's going to come in there. That's yeah. interesting. Ooh, that's pretty big. I think Kit would like him to. I mean, if I were Kit, I would like him to come in there and let me yeah, just go I, to work. I, I, uh, I'm not too sure about this play either. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like a sandwich too, John? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your order. Sarah well, Rise. Dana, see, that was a trap, a, a clever trap that Dana laid. Let's see if he gets his three. Nope. Okay. Sarah Wise, you find Ooh. a local tournament by going to Chicago oh, Point .com. Look Chicago at this shake. God, I'm not sure. Com. They have a I'll, calendar. I'll play it, though. One, two for sure. Now, did he make the seven? I think he make the seven. Yeah, I think I, I think would. he make the seven. That way you have this. The, if he doesn't roll an ace, you can I think, cover. I think I might come or, out with one guy, make the four point, uh, and, and uh, make the five prime and leave. Uh -oh. oh, I would have got crushed, but this crushes you anyway. Yeah, I think at this score, he really wants the 18 point, though, for defense, you know. So that part. I don't know. If you got a five prime. That's pretty good defense. Yeah, that's true. The but, best uh, defense is a good offense, John. This is true. In this a, is true. In some cases. In some cases, yeah. But he didn't even consider that. And I mean, like, what? They're at three-way, two-way. They're Dude. playing in the U.S. Open. And uh, he didn't even, you know, he rolls a double sixes, and he didn't consider all of his options for a very long time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now you'll notice each of them are right around two minutes now. So if we go Bad to yet roll. another, if we go to Whoa. yet another game, hey John, what did he just roll? <laughs> and how does it play? Two six from the bar. I, I think I played or I rolled that about five times against Ray, and they were all good. Yeah, I noticed. I think Ray noticed too. <laughs> They're all good numbers. What are you guys talking about? This is oh, oh what's he gonna here do? Here we go. Make the four point, or do you hit? I don't know. The cube's still in the middle. This is ah. a uh, huge yeah. decision. It's a pretty strong play right here. 
I don't, think, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you uh, give him that much opportunity on the other side. Well, he's got kind of a screwed up position. This might help him. I don't know. I could help him out in a way, but all right. Yeah, he, I hit him. He could always dance, you know? He's done that several uh, on this particular board. Okay, now he can Is go he with the go five the block loose? play. Yeah, I don't think he will at this score. I bet he'll make the 20. There's a couple 22. of different five block plays. There is a couple of different <laughs> yeah. five block plays. That's right. If I was going to do a five block play, I think I would hit off the three point. Yeah, yeah, I agree. If if you would do that. But I think I would just make the uh, 22. 22 point. I think so, too, yeah. Man, this is this is a match. This has been entertaining. Yeah, it's not over yet. If you think this is a good match, wait till you see the next one. Because the winner plays Ray, right? The winner <laughs> plays Ray. Uh. <laughs> the winner is in trouble. I got the news for you. All right, I would slot. Okay, John, especially with the blot on the ace point over there. Yeah. Dana finds that play. He's only got a minute and 29 seconds. Kit's got 145. So they've they've used their time up. They got their money's worth out of this match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're Six, they got a ways okay. to go. Both off the Both 22. Off. I yeah. think we'll let John get in here because he's got a lot of experience with these stripped point games. <laughs> four five. Ooh, oh, four, is that five. Good? That's nice. Spanky. Okay, that's good hit and cover number. Dance. This is okay, does, a cube. Does, does Dana get frisky here? A little Definitely. cube action? It doesn't have to be. This isn't particularly frisky. This is a good double. Yeah. The score. This is powerful. Now, ah, Kit might. He could let this go and have 50%. So, it's... so let's see. That's going to factor in. That's there he did. Okay, so we're two away, two away. Yes. Effectively, DMP. What's your strategy at this score, John? Uh, Win. <laughs> you know, like most people, I double really early. All right. And what's your take point at this? Uh, well, it's according to XG, 32. Yeah, I, I, I had my ex he says like 32 and a half or something. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, Brown okay, name. there it is. Last game. What? He rolled a 4 1, Kit did, and Dana doubled that. Yeah. All right. I refuse to do that myself. Uh oh, 2 6 from the bar? 2 5. It's oh, two. double smacker. All right, Dana. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're rolling like champions. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect performance by each so far. Nichols. Ooh. Oh, my God. Enter. Make the three. And point on him. And gain 20 pips in the race. That's a pretty good shape. Yep. And slot your opponent's five point. Wow. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, bad shot. I mean, so this is the most important game of the match, and they they both have a minute left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's see, 20 to 2 and 24 18 looks right to me. Hit and they both got 125, basically. Is that a 2 6 from the bar? No, it's a 6 1. Okay. Oh, he wasn't on the bar. And he wasn't on the bar. Uh, uh oh. One six. Ugh. Probably cover, huh? Would he? Yeah. You could do that, and then you could kind of lure him off the five anchor. Either Although Dana or, won't give that up easy. Yeah, yeah, that looks like. Hello, Felix. Better. Welcome to a great match here. 42. Four two. Hits, and Keep. you got a two. Bring it down. There yeah. you go. Who cares? You don't care if you get gammon. You can play all kind of blots. Worked out well. Try to win. Uh, Dana like will point. die trying to win. Trust me. Okay, here we go. Boom. Dana wanted to make the five point, but he didn't. 
He did nothing. He Go can play the stage. Yeah, the just eight. the yeah. Yeah. obvious play looks right wow, there. Wow, yeah. what a boring play. All right, 125. <laughs> <laughs> Make that and slot the four. Hmm? Yeah. Probably, or 22 to 20. That's where those six-point six checkers belong. Yeah, the that's four true. Point. But near the end, 22 to 20 makes it easier to get that spare out. I don't know how important that is. So. As long as it doesn't get pointed on like with 2-1, for instance. Yeah, that's true. He should true. make the five-point anyway, I think. Uh, don't give him the double shot. Yeah, give it to him and have both five points. They miss double shots sometimes. Ain't an election. Ask Matt. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Matt, you just we'll use our lifeline. What would Matt do? Yeah. I don't He's think low so. on time, so that's a reasonable play. I'm not sure what's right. 5 3 makes the one point. Huh? Yeah. Matt would go 11 7 there. 11 7. I don't know what that means. I'm just reading. Oh, okay. He would do what he did was come to the 11 point and the 7 point. Yeah. So he. Oh, okay. Dana. Found Matt's play. What Dana did, yeah. Hey, just hit, yeah. Look at Dana's always playing pure and a little else for Dana to do there. Yeah. Nichols. Oh, that almost gets out, Kit. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong set to get out. Okay. Oh, look at this. He a makes nine a nine-point. Point. Oh, my God. An outfield prime. Look now Dana is a big favorite to eat me for lunch in the next round. Yeah, you don't even need sauce with that. All right. Oh, he's got a five prime. Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? Ooh, this. Here? Well, he, 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 he. I don't know. Six to five to three hitting, or six four, and then you waste a one somewhere. Yeah. You like to hit, huh, John? Well, I'm thinking about it. That's a pure play. Yeah, Matt and, and says, the question is how to hit. Matt says hit and lift. But, Six five three, I guess, huh? He's looking really low on time. He better hurry up. He decides to hit. Okay. Thirty seconds. Um, the party's over. Uh there was no consensus, no. I don't know. That was reasonable. Uh, I don't know. I mean, oh, look at that. Whoa. He's Whoa. prime. <laughs> yeah, but it weakens his, his prime, though. No, I think it's eight to four, three times, and then seven, three. I don't know. Then he's got to clear those points later. Yeah. yeah. He's up in the race. Don't have to do anything beautiful. Oh, switch. 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 And Dana never moved again. <laughs> That's right. Oink. <laughs> <laughs> Five four. Uh -oh. that, that blocker is over there. Watch this chicken play. Activate uh -oh. two six from the bar. <laughs> two one from the bar. <laughs> Another dog. Oh. Ah. Cancel the two six from the bar. Six, six three or five four. Who said that? Seven six. Seven six. I think the target's the five point, not the two. Oh, he's got to leave the shoe. Okay. This is a uh, this is awkward. I, I bet it's wrong. Eight, 
I hope it's he great that Rory his, showed up to I tell us all the right plays so fast. Yeah, he does. Wow. 16 seconds. Yeah. Whoa. Five, three. Okay. Now he wishes he would have been in there. Look at this. B5 folk. In and hit. Ouch. A herd of fives went by. Oh, wow. Five hits. Yeah, and then lift. Oh, but I can't lift. <laughs> okay, Dana, here's you would like a five here. Oh, wrong ten. That was the wrong ten. Oh, well, he can it. lift and cover. Lift and cover. That's fine. Uh, sorry, press that eight. There's the five yesterday's. Rory right. got one wrong. That almost never happens. <laughs> Three one. Oh, juicy. Okay, make that the five point. Oh, he ace. Six. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Takes away some picks and passes. You don't get one if you get pick and pass. All right, there we go. It's, at least it's not two six from the bar, right, Kit? Uh oh. <laughs> Dana's going to pull this one out. Yeah, watch this. Here he goes. And then they. Two six is going to be exposed on the very next shake. Two uh, six six. All right. You'll take black. Uh -oh. Oh, pass. Oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what hits here? <laughs> Five three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two one leaves the shot. Two one. Oh, no. Uh, Hurry, Dana. Run, Dana. Hurry. Run. Whoa! Look at here. Oh. Run, Forrest. Sixteen seconds. Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Rest. Was it a couple minutes ago? Sixteen seconds. That's real. Well, there was never a doubt about this match. Great match. Great match. Oh. Six two. Uh, I saw the six first. Uh oh. oh that'll do it. Rosie, Rosie is singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good match, Jana. Wow. Wow, that was entertaining. Yeah. But that's what you get at the U.S. Open. Jonah's running around celebrating behind there. He must have won here. Okay, thank you, folks, and I think. Uh, hey, thanks for letting me sit in with you. Bill. Thank you, Ray. Always a pleasure. All right, brother. And I think Jonah just perhaps won. Also, I saw him dancing a jig back there. Oh, okay. Four o'clock. Mm. Tar and I are yeah. seriously thinking about the steakhouse opens at 4.30, and we've been trying to get in there a lot. I don't know that we're going to start another match. Uh, hang tight. We'll uh, let you know quickly. Oh, Jonah, is, what is this? Oh, look at here. DMP. Ray, where'd Ray go? Ten all. Look at this. Gets no more. Doesn't get any closer. Hey, John. Look at this one. <laughs> Some places care. The smaller business. Oh, okay. The big ones. The last game. DMP, huh? Okay. Jonah so, and Mays Petrosian. This is in the fighters bracket. What was Jonah running around for? I don't know what he was running around for. 
Six, three, eight. Fighters. So, uh, fighter bracket, second chance, whatever you call it. Yeah. Can still win. One loss bracket can still win. Double elimination now. Hit and run. Which is new format for the open here. Kind of one. Either split. six, five, or split. Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably split is better. Six, four. Oh, I like six. Nine point heavy. Don't point on the two point. There you go. Makes the 18. Make 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Easy game sometimes. Well, they don't have any time problems here. 10-15. No, they both got the more other than time. enough. All right. So I think you go out and then 9-8. Yeah. Looks right. Okay, so uh, builders again. This is doubly limb, so the the winner is still alive and the loser is dead. Mm -hmm. well, for the, that's a winning bit hard, but he goes to the consolation with his last chance. Yeah, last chance. Yeah, which as far, chance. Chance. Yeah. Yeah. Which as, far as winning the tournament goes, this is true. The loser is dead. This is true. Makes the bar and a hit. Nice roll. Yep. Yep. Okay. They're having a good time. Maybe. That's what it's all about, too. Trozy. Guys are having fun. Both smiling. Having a good time. Yucking at, it up. At DMP. Hit. In and hit. Yeah. There we go. Get them moving. Get the checkers moving. Hmm. I don't Probably know. a hit here, know. right, John? Nah. In, I like a hit. hit is yeah. Play, yeah. Yeah. Could have made stronger the, board. Made got a blot point. Stronger board, blot open. Yeah, blah blah blah. Right. I like to hit, right. and it pays yeah. off. Once in a while, it, yeah. Once Huge while reward here. Right. Huge reward. Oh, he's Somebody gonna chit chat him up as he makes there. the point here and yeah, chalk it up. Oh, barely good. squeezes it. Covers. Okay. Yeah, you're on. Yeah. Two, three. Oh, not on. You're on. I think just six to three. You could play eight to five. I think that's a little too big, but I don't know. Six, three off the top of my head looks right. On the other hand, you don't lose any gamuts mm -hmm. at this score when you get, you know, thing when the roof caves in. So that's an argument for hitting. Well, what's the pip count here? I don't know. What Please. color are you doing? Oh, I'm just thinking out loud here. Okay, 60. Okay, so 8, 50, 60, 78, 140, 17, 140 for blue. Yeah, less three is going to be 137. <clears throat> and then for white, it's too white now. 36, 39, 75, 95. Or do you make and the two out. point? On his head, maybe. Yeah, you know what? The two, the two was probably pretty strong there, John. I'm not, not going to lie. The two was very strong there. Okay. Two blots open. <laughs> yeah. Of course, gammons don't matter, though. So True. That's a that's good an point. argument for his play. Yeah, it's a but, good point. Yeah. But. Very good. Only a 56% chance to come in there. <laughs> Bad shot nine uh, three eight five. Oh, well, he does it the other way. Go eight five that way. Oh, eight five eight two. Okay, I guess that's all right. Two one. All right. Doesn't do very two much. Blots. I I like this play. Yeah, a couple blots. Ones are duped. Yep. 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 Three, three. Okay. How clean can he get clean this? Up. Clean up both One, and then play two, nine to three. six. Yeah. yeah, it seems right. Yep. Definitely. He needs a two pretty quick. What's though. this? He needs a six-two or double twos. Yeah. 
vibes. Is he going to point on him now yet, John, or not yet? Well, uh, no. I don't know. I think Probably you played not. at the five. Nine and five. Yeah, I think Bill Riles is right. Nine, five seems right here. 13, nine. How, 10, bad, five. how bad to run to the uh, 13 and 14? Probably well, no good, huh? Well, it's not unreasonable but seems uh, light to offer up the deuce though yeah it does yeah it seems wrong yeah yeah bill's probably right here i think you yeah. eight and nine. Uh, nine nine and five or nine and five yeah Someone nine and five know who's who's the fish on bill's right this is my right oh that's me that's aaron yeah mega fish <laughs> lots of money come on down dimitri. 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 Uh, oh dimitri yeah plenty of money come on down dimitri i like to gamble let's go <laughs> <laughs> Look at here. So, they up, they're stretching. Dimitri's May, strong, though. He's just stretching. Okay, so Dimitri's uh, very strong. Three, one, and seven. going to be hit and... Right. Right. Okay. What time? 7 p.m.? 7. So we're going to shut it down and go eat. Yeah. 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 This is the last game, obviously. Yeah. Okay. What are you guys eating? Steakhouse. Steakhouse. You should have made reservations at Golden Steer. You could have ate at uh, Frank Sinatra's table. Not in here. It's around the corner. But yeah, it's tough to get into that place too sometimes. Golden Steer is the oldest steakhouse in Vegas. Yeah, that's here. It's only a couple blocks. Yeah, it's a couple blocks to Golden Steer. Ray, you want to come on in here and give some expert advice or... Should I stay? I said expert advice. You're not. You're not welcome, Rory. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we think bad. Rory. We think thirteen nine and oh, ten oh, five oh, is oh, the play. Five, four on the roll? Yeah, still, still valuable. All of it to play. All, All of it. it play. We like. Uh, what we come up with? Nine, nine and, and five. And five yeah. yeah. The alternative, obviously, in two it's plays, wrong. you can point on the mm -hmm. dudes or you can run off the 18. Running off the 18, the I think John and I said no. Pointing the dudes is wrong. Seems it. A lot of numbers the there. Did you get a race count? Don't know. It seems cl fairly close. Fairly close. 123 Actually, like less Blue's 9 will be 114 after the play for White. Looks like wow. he was winning the race, so I would play 9 and 5. John counts fast. Hey, oh, I know. Forty-nine. We don't call O'Hagan's rules for nothing. One oh. Twenty-three. And he's got one eleven. Blue has one eleven. So he is in the lead. One fourteen. After, after the play. The roll. After the play. So he is in the lead three. after the roll. So. Yeah, it looks White right. Is yeah. White is losing. Blue's in the lead. Huh? White is losing the race after the roll. No. no. White, oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Down by yes. three. And yeah, White is still losing the race. Losing right. the race by 12 right now. Uh, down three after. Then I so think got, I'm pretty sure it's clear not running. Is yes. Right nine, nine, then nine, might five. be right to make the two. No. Yeah. Nine, five. Still hate that. Nine, five. Yeah. Yeah. What are the comments? I'll throw my wallet out there. And I mean, whatever somebody. the people. Nobody comment. said anything. Oh, well, come on. We lost a lot. We were yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing he had plenty of time on the clock. The people. They all went to dinner. Their clock's not even running. Although no wonder they got so damn much. Seems time. like it should be running because the blue light is lit. Why is the blue light lit? Why we No wonder. We're gonna send the director in to handle this. No wonder this taking so long. Rory's good for something. What's playing here, guys? Oh, this is an interesting match. How come the clock? Oh, here he is. This is why the clock's like he's over here. He was commenting on his own match. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So who's in the chair? I feel like someone sat in the chair, though. That's his that looks like a boot. Yeah, girlfriend a boot. sitting on the other side. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense now why this play is taking so long, huh, John? Yeah. I think even, like, uh, even the most inept player could have figured this one out by now, I think. Uh, they took here we go. And we're talking about Jonas, so I think he's more than inept. <laughs> Okay. All right. They're still not going to start yeah. the clock, but Finally. don't worry about it. Hey, 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 we were right after all. 
took forever, but we got took there. Took forever, but we did get there. Six, four, got to do this. So he wants combinations of fives, the, ones, and twos. Fives, ones, and Make twos. That, fives, uh, ones, and twos, John. There's a lot of those. A lot of those. Three one. Three one. Not the not the combo he was looking so, for. Do you make the big play and make the four point? Leave a five shot. Oof. Or do you, do you slide on play the nine to five or nine to six five four? Wouldn't surprise me if making a four points right. That's pretty close. Uh, that could be a lot of builders if you do that. Oh, okay. He does it this way. This could be. This could be okay. Yeah. He's still got a lot, oh, yeah, lot more builders. Hand. He has one more builder than the other way. And also, this way, black or blues sixes are really bad. You know, I, four, it's, but step up. But All right, here we go. He would have been here. We go. A winner, maybe. I think he's gonna point on him now if he can. Well, only got a few can, numbers though. Certainly, but any five, any six. There's no point to be made. He, and he will he? Oh, the long Trump shake from a, Jonah Trump and a speech. Doesn't work too well either. Twos are no good. Pair of them. The clock is running now. Now, two oh. one. Oh, oh you got a hit! Wow, he's yeah. just gonna yeah slot it and bring it in, right? Yeah, yeah. five slide four and, and huh? go to the ace. Five four and eight to six. So now you've got to try to win. Yeah, got to you. You've got to try to make the four point. That's why I didn't like his previous play. Yeah, eight to six. Come over here and listen to Aaron. Oh, what's his 10 to 10? This game oh, is being put. He went to the uh, deuce there. I would have pointed on the four point because I wouldn't have played the three one that way. Done. That, that's no. what I would have done. I, well, with. Uh, no, yeah, you would have. With the no, you didn't have this guy in the six, though, did you? Four, I would have made the four point, leaving a blot in the seven. Oh, I just would have played 9 5. And I would have the two I would have primed the front level. Oh, okay. Well, okay, here we go. It's just an extra spare on the May's needs, needs a three. Oh, but, oh that's a bad row. number. Bad, row. bad number. A few numbers here. 17 sixes hit. Uh oh. That's not, that's not it. Not terrible. But he'll probably take it. Yeah. He roll, I don't think he'd roll over. No, he would not roll I mean, over he's here. Just a, he's just going to clear, right, John? To the, so, to the eight. This is easy. To eight twice. This See right. ya. Yeah. In Mulligan, pit, Mulligan. Same as a hit. Uh, and Good match. Hits. He's going to slow roll us. Oh, this looks oh. horrible, but oh boy, ah. he did it. Wow. I don't know. What is this? I do, oh, and look at this. Look at this. this is run. interesting. And now he's in this predicament. Now in, yeah. Now he's in trouble. That was a bad five play. I uh, didn't like that at all. I hated the five play. All right. I'm just going to bring him in, right? Yeah. 13 to five. I 13 to five is my play. Rory breaks the bar. I hit. <laughs> and so does Jonah. I don't and like so that. does Jonah. Wow, I don't know. I haven't liked any of these plays. <laughs> he didn't hit. He didn't. It's playing weak. Playing a little light. Oops, the deuce. Let's see. Now six one's a shot. Oh, whoa! He doesn't cover though. He doesn't cover. He doesn't cover. It's down. Probably down. Probably down. Or nine. So yeah. Eight. Yeah, that nine's a six three. Well, that's that's double, double four, so that might be a little better. Whoa! Double five. <laughs> Two one. Okay. Consider your debt settled. Good Where are you going? Let's let Ray in here. He's oh, closest the board. Okay. This is. Uh, I think. He hardly ever gets. Rosie O'Donnell is clearing her throat on the stage. <laughs> stage left. We've been lucky with a. A number of great matches. Yeah, yesterday they've been stacked. Just killer matches. And a lot of competitive matches between top players. Oh, got to clear it now. Set of sixes would make this interesting. That, that open <laughs> that that open four point doesn't make the, it that interesting. The Armenian. Double six dance over there. Oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it didn't compare to work. If any of that stuff worked, <laughs> you ever miss a shot. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, five, three. This looks pretty much like, all but done. Pretty much curtains. Five, four. Oh. So, momentarily, we're going to be shutting down the stream until after uh, the dinner break at seven o'clock. Actually, we're going to come back at seven, and on the stream, we'll have uh, the um, Kit Woolsey and Ray Fogerland. The good news about that is we won't have to hear Ray talk because he'll be playing instead of talking. Uh, <laughs> he says he'll be talking anyways. Uh, is there the player audio on there or not? Is there? Yeah. Oh, there, oh, so unfortunately you will have to still listen to him. Like, we like to trash talk when we play. The, uh, the Ray viewers, said he, we don't hear yeah, here. the Ray, Ray said he and a oh, good play by my East. Take all the checkers off. Okay. Uh, Ray said he and Kit will be talking some trash, so you'll be able to enjoy that. Once again, thank you to Ga Backgammon Galaxy for letting us stream on the YouTube channel. FM Gammon for being our sponsor, providing that beautiful board. I like, love the colors. They just pop on the screen. Uh, and obviously, uh, Bill and Tyre, who are doing a knock-up job uh, running this fantastic stream for your viewing pleasure. Thanks a lot, Bill. Okay, guys. Thank you, Rory. We'll see you at seven, tournament. 7 o'clock seven Pacific Coast time. Pacific. Everybody be here. And then probably at 8, we'll do one of the jackpot series. Yeah. yeah, we got some good jackpot matches as well. Yeah, that's uh, what Jeff Hall and Brandon. There's one. Stu Hosen and John O'Hagan. Yeah, John O'Hagan's in the semi, so look out for that one as well. Okay, later, guys. 7 o'clock. <laughs> Hey, Rory, is somebody going to, will somebody be here? Sue's playing.